Yeah. Oh. Baby. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of the whatever this is. I don't know. Shuffle Master uh, Extravaganza. Shuffle Master... Uh, Big Bang Baby, the Shuffle Master, um, Bonanza? I use Bonanza a lot, don't I? Uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, y'all are so kind and cool. Y'all are my favorite people in the whole dang world. I mean, I do have a lot of personal friends, too, that I would call my favorite people in the dang world, but aside from them, this would be my favorite group, uh... Let me just log into my Streamlabs real quick. Let's let, let's just jump into it. Uh, today is a magical day. Um, I'm very excited about today. Uh, and why I'm excited is on the screen right now. Original Zendikar. Double Masters VIP Edition. We've got two boxes of Double Masters VIP Edition to go through. That's right. That is eight booster packs. Eight booster packs. And, uh, oh yeah. It's getting real. Now you might notice there's no, um, there's no watermark or anything. No Shuffle Master watermark or anything. That's right. I've, um, I've officially gone back to phone while I'm at home. Um, the reason for this is because of technical difficulties. The computer that I'm using at home, I cannot get higher than 480p. Um, I need to get a designated stream computer and set up the whole thing in the office. So in the meantime, I'm just doing phone when I work at home, um, which has been working fine. And people, you know, there's no, like, I've never had any technical difficulties on my phone aside from the internet being shit. Uh, so <laughs> I've, I've got all this equipment and I, I, I got to set it up in the office. So that's what I'm going to do. So phone, phone's fine for now. It makes it much easier for me to just set it up on the fly. Ah. Ah. Oh, God. Ah, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Louise. I gotta... Oh, I gotta organize these. Oof. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think first... First off, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I... Th there needs to be a third... You know, it's like ladies and gentlemen, and then there needs to be like the third one for everyone in between. It needs to be like gentlefolk. Maybe I'll just say ladies and gentlefolk. <laughs> so it's one that's very specific, and then the other one is just like a blanket for everyone else. Ladies and gentlefolk. Not saying that ladies aren't gentlefolk. We're going to do VIP Double Masters first. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. I've been waiting for this, man. I, I The moment this was announced and was listed on eBay... I, I I ordered them, and uh, I got to tell you, they're um, they're pretty smashed up. <laughs> I I don't know if I'm gonna be ordering from this manufacturer again, but uh, yeah, you can see they're uh, oof, yikes. The box itself too was like, it was it was pretty pretty bumped up. Oh, this one's terrible. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck? Somebody just <laughs> didn't didn't uh, didn't know the value of this this bad boy here. Ladies, gals, and non-binary pals. <laughs> That's great. I like that one. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Odd Grim. Thanks, man. Shut up and kiss me already. That's what he says. Odd Grim. Um, all right, man. Let's just let's just. In the words of Philip DeFranco, let's just jump into it. <laughs> Uh, Zach Swanson, hey, best of luck, sir. Managed a mythic in every box topper for my five VIPs, including Force of Will. Passing my luck on to you. Damn, dude. Very nice. Very nice. That Force of Will, that's sick. I'm hoping to pull a Force of Will myself. Um, all right, let's just open it up, man. I don't know why I, like, draw these out so much. It's like, just want to see the cards, bro. I guess I just want to, like, chat with y'all. I just want to see how y'all are doing. A single pedal. Would you ever make an RPGs card game like Magic the Gathering? Sorry if this was asked before. Yes, I really want to. Um, I am working on an, a, an RPGs project next um, that I will not talk about until I have something more official in the bank. Um, 
although maybe based on context clues of stuff, you probably understand what they are. Uh, but uh, I'm working on that, and then obviously Wave 3, um, maybe like a, like a relaunch of Wave 2. Uh, I didn't really like promote Wave 2 a whole lot, because it was, it was you know, it was sort of like at the beginning of quarantine, and I just, uh, I don't know, it felt weird. Um, so uh, I'm going to sort of re-announce Wave 2, and then, you know, start working on a Wave 3, and I actually have in mind a Wave 2.5, which I'm very excited about, and it's not, it's not really, it's, it's all new pins. Um, but the concept behind it is, uh, they're different types of pins. So I'm really excited for that. And yes, RPGs board, uh, card game is on the list of things I want to do with RPGs. I really want to go like dive headfirst in RPGs. Um, uh, Tasha Potamus, thanks. Says, I love RPGs. I love RPGs too, man. Like, uh, it's, it's. It's probably been my favorite project in a long time. Um, you know, not the least of which because it's 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 mine. Like I, I just uh I work on it on my own and uh I don't really get any help from anybody. Uh I do all the art on RPGs myself. Um even the stickers I did everything myself. I did the packaging art, I did the actual drawings and stuff. Um even the first, so if you if you bought an RPGs pack from the first wave, I packed all those myself. I I packed every, like, you know, I think I think there's like like a hundred or two hundred that I didn't pack that I got help from when it was getting sort of tedious at the end. Um, but you probably if you bought if you bought the first wave of RPGs, um, I physically packed that. Like I just wanted it to be like this is mine. I did it all. I did everything on my own, um, and it was very gratifying as a result. It was super satisfying. Uh, the Gatherers, hey, saw you last year in Toronto, had a great time, would love to beat you in Magic someday. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, I'm not very good. I'm building a new um, EDH deck. Uh, PK told me he wanted to play a game with me um, over, like, webcam commander. So uh, I'm building a commander deck, and it's all knights. I actually have, like, the sort of prototype of it here. I, I, this isn't, like... Um, this isn't final or anything. This is just kind of like the cards that I put together on like the like the sketchboard, and I'm probably gonna take out a couple and put in more. Um, let's see, these are all lands. Uh, so it's a it's a knight's deck. I, I I can't remember if I said that. So it's it's all like knights and equipment. So you know, glorious anthems, solar blaze, Danitha is pretty dope. Uh, Nahiri for equipment. Uh, Colossus hammer, hilarious. Um, I've got, also got, I think, is Sigardia in here? Or Sigarda's Aid? Um, yeah, I'll lend to the Dex, Desk Rose. We've got Knight's Charge, SRAM for equipment. Just, just a real dope, I'm, I'm really excited about the, yeah, Worthy Knight. We'll just, like, load up the Norn's Annex. You guys were here when I pulled this. Uh, Flawless Maneuver. We got some removal. Yeah, Sigarda's Aid. Sigarda's Aid is so ridiculous. Like, if you pull Sigarda's Aid and you pull Colossus Hammer, like... I don't know, uh, everybody probably already knows this combo, but, so they're both one drops, right? Sigarda's Aid, you may cast aura and equipment spells as though they had flash. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach it to target creature you control. Then you got Colossus Hammer, which is a one drop, but the equip is eight, and it gives equipped creature plus ten, plus ten. So, turn two, you can have... A creature that's, you know, eleven eleven or or twelve twelve or whatever. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, so those the, the that's that's a fun little, fun little, dangity do. Yeah, you know, murderous rider, demonic tutor, torment of hailfire. So excited about this card. Uh, of course, fatal push. This is vicious. It's a fucking human knight flyer. Power and toughness equal to the number of creatures you control. So you got like Worthy Knight out there. Whenever it attacks, you create a 2 2 white knight. Um, got tons of like knight generating cards in here. Like it's just, I'm excited to play it. Um, I'm excited to sort of like tweak it. Um, like I said, this isn't like the final. This is just sort of like a bunch of cards that I threw together that are like, this would probably be good. And then I'll sort of figure out how to fine tune it later. Um, Le uh, oh, Harriet, welcome back. Um, 
Hi, Aaron. Always a pleasure to watch these streams at the end of the week. Here's two more successful pulls today. Hoping to pick up Double Masters soon in my next Magic Shopping Spree. Have a great week. Thanks, Harriet. You've always been very supportive. I, I really appreciate you coming to all of these. Um, and I hope you get good pulls on your Double Masters. Uh, I think I have a couple more Double Masters boxes coming. Not VIP. I think this is... This might be the last time I get VIP edition. Maybe I'll get, like, one or two in the future just on a lark if I'm, like, at a local game store and some friends and stuff. It's always fun when you, like, you find a new pack of people and you, like, kind of get to know them and, and hang out. And then, um, because cracking packs is just, I just love doing it. I'll, I'll just be like, hey, guys, you just want to crack a pack of Kaladesh or something? And they're like, yeah. I was like, oh, great. And we'll just go buy one and, and then we'll all crack it together. So that's, uh... So, you know, if I do something like that, it would, I would love to do with these. So it's, um, anyway, Leona, uh, hello, fine human. How are you today? I'm stoked to see what adventures await us today. I wish you the best this week to you and yours. Aw, thank you, Leona. You're always so supportive. And, uh, yes, we, we feel the love. Is our food here? Oh, okay. Um, speaking of you and yours, my lovely wife, Susie, uh will be blessing these cards for us. Are you ready now? Before we open. I wasn't sure if you were ready. Oh, oh, I, it's a, they're always ready to be blessed. Oh, wow. We've got we got quite a few little boxes here. Oh my gosh, there's so many today. Yeah, let me, yeah, let, you guys can fun. let me like get a little wider so we can so these are these are all these are very um <laughs> these are very expensive packs right here. Wow. This is one booster pack. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um and then this is a box of boosters, and so with this one, we're hoping in the in the in the early run, right? Mm. They uh, they actually bought old reserve list cards, which are cards that they said they would never print again. They bought them on the the, the secondhand market, and then put them into booster packs. Oh, so there's a possibility that like an Alpha Lotus could be in here. Oh my god! So <laughs> what the hell? What is that like worth? The last one sold for like one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. That's so insane yeah that's amazing um so we're hoping yeah well um <laughs> I, I certainly hope for that kind of energy for you um but yeah let's put like like everybody flat all right yeah so we're gonna bless these cards send in the best vibes oh send in good energy no! and then i brought a tool so we can like feel for the energy. I got these dousing rods, that's right. Oh my God. For energy detection. So I've been testing them off camera, you can't see, but they are perfectly straight. Yeah. Whenever you put them over high energy areas, they tend to cross. So I wanted to see, you know, like what the energy of these cards was like. Oh, you know what man. I'm talking about? So... But, like, oh, 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 but it did cross, and that wasn't me, you guys. Like, these are actually, like, ghost hunting copper rods. <laughs> so, um, wow, the energy is is bumping today. I can't wait to hear what you pull, Aaron. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to be listening in. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you, babe. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling the energy right. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> it might be Woo! hot. Woo! Oh, it. Oh, on it. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. oh, so hot. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was wonderful. The dowsing rods, they don't lie, man. They don't lie. Oh, everyone says they love you, Susie. <laughs> oh, man. These are these uh, these VIP boosters, they are from uh, cases. So I got two cases of them. Um, opened them up. I, I, they're so boring. Like, I didn't want to open them on stream because they're just fucking normal-ass boxes. Like, I, I, you know, to be honest, and, and this is something that I've heard... Uh oh Orientation is locked. Yes. Got it. Yes, I know. I know. Just let me... Okay. Um, something I've heard from other people is, uh, you know, that there's no... Well, first of all, there's no watermarking on the shrink wrap, which is which is very strange. Um, and, you know, the cases are just... They're just boxes. So it's like, fuck it, I'll just open these up. Plus, I just wanted to see them. <laughs> you know, this is my first time... It was my first time seeing these in person, so... Uh, but let's, uh, let's, let's start. Let's do it. Let's freaking go for it. Oh, wait a second. We got, uh, World Waker. Thank you. Uh, hey Aaron, my DM box was super spicy. Mana Crypt, Force of Will, Box Topper, Avacyn, Stoneforge. Wow. So I hope you get the same spice. Good luck. I am looking for a Stoneforge. Um, it would be great for my Knight's deck. 
Um, lots of equipment in uh, in that nice deck. Fossilized Jaka. I sent my luck and my mana. Oh, excuse me. It's all colorless mana. Oh, that's very sweet. I like that. Uh, Edward Carter. Ah! But seriously, good luck, man. I'm glad you have the MTG content now. I'm so glad MTG is becoming mainstream. Yeah, man. I've I've been running into more and more people who uh, who play MTG, and I'm like, oh, you play MTG? That's great. Um, Jeremy Osborne. Good luck. My ha Have fun, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Uh, you too. Uh, be locked down. I can feel it in my bones. Power 9 ahead. Oh, it's happening. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a Mox, or we're going to get a Lotus. That's all there is to it. Um... KP, yo, let's go! Ready for another dopamine stream. <laughs> nice, dude. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Let's do it. Box number one. Just cut that bad boy open and get the joints. I feel kind of bad because it's so shiny and I just like slice right through it. Whatever. Who gives a dick? Twice as nice! You get the doubles. So what's the deal with these? Oh, here we go. Yeah, you get two two rares. Oh, they're they're always foil? Two foil borderless and two foil rares. Okay. I mean, I, I guess it, if, they should be. These are ridiculously priced, I, I will say. Um, I, 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 uh, ridiculously priced. And there's nothing else in here either. It's just the, just the, the lining of the swords. Um, which I think is dope. I think it's a cool design. I would wear like a like a dress shirt that had that design on it. That would be dope. And then we got uh, they're they're packed on their sealed on their own, packed on their own, whatever. Let's do. Let's go for a mana crypt. Let's go for a force of will, baby. I would actually prefer a mana crypt because I would use a mana crypt. Um, I don't know if I would use a force of will. I'm I'm sort of like a I don't want to say like anti blue, but I just I don't find blue that interesting to play. Um, Let's let's uh let's get this camera down to like a a spot that feels good to for me to look at these cards. Tilt it a little bit. There we go. All right. Here we go. A little steel sabotage, and they are all fo God. This is so many cards. It's so thick. Cause these are these are all like lands back here, right? And tokens. All right. Revoke existence. Slice them right in half. Uh, Kazul's, Kazul's Toe Collector. <laughs> I'm coming for the toll. I'm coming for that toll. Got a little Relic Hunter. Ah, oh, love her. Human Rogue. Oh my gosh. Who is she? What's her name? Her knack for tampering with war and wards got her kicked out of the academy, but they also got her back in. <gasps> oh, damn! You seeing that? That's, oh, that's some good, that's some good narrative right there. We got that Ikor Wellspring. Icky, dude. Got that iron bully. <laughs> it's fucking mean, dude. I don't want a bully in my cards. Get out of here. Uh, Silumgar scavenger. I can't hold these. There's there's too many cards here. I gotta f I gotta figure out like before before the full art. All right, this is good. So these are the lands. Okay, great. This is much easier. I like that. All right, love that vulture. That's how I'm trying to be. Whisperer of the wilds. Yo, where can I get that? Where can I get that hat, dude? I'm wanting that. If you wear that hat and you walk around town, nobody will fuck with you. They'll be like, yo, that's a human shaman. Overflowing chalice. Hey, all right, that's a that's a value common right there. What is that, like a dollar? Mmm. Damn. <laughs> Got a little culling dice. I don't know what that is, but it looks just like the overflowing chalice. There's something something very similar about those those objects. We're in the uncommons now. We got Oriox salvagers. Unlikely friends. Re <laughs> Are they friends or is he he's picking up bodies? That's what's happening. He's fucking salvaging bodies. They're not friends. Riddle Smith. Riddle me this. Why do you wear all that weird shit on your face? We got that welding jar. Nice. It's got a lot of, um, what do they call it? It's not, uh, solder. Oubliette, baby! Is that a value? I don't know if that's a value, but it's got a sick hand. <laughs> What's up, man? This was, uh, this was, um, Tolarian Community Academy's community college. Tolarian Community College Academy College. That was, uh, that was his reveal card. 
Cogwork Assembler. Fucking sick. We got Gorklan Rampager. I've seen that before. Hey, I've seen you before. Skull Mulcher. Hey, hey, is that is that Christopher Muller? No, Michael Ryan, but <laughs> he's this is what happens after the mulch guy chops down the trees. He turns into this this monster. Oh, Sunforger! I'll take that. I just that that that's perfect for my night's deck, dude. Check this out. Three drop equipped creature gets plus four plus zero, and you can pay red and white to unattach Sunforger and search your library for a red or white instant card with converted mana cost four or less and cast that card without paying its mana cost, then shuffle your library. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, dude. Mmm. Nice card. Oblivion Stone. Pay three, four, and tap. Put a fate counter on target permanent. Five and tap. Sacrifice Oblivion Stone. Destroy each non-land permanent without a fate counter on it. Then remove all fate counters from all permanents. That's ridiculous. That's 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 some ridiculous removal right there. Boom, baby. <laughs> what do we got here? A little brainstorm action. One drop blue. Draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Oof. Scry three. Draw one. That is nice. And a foil. I have seen this card show up a lot, so I I, I have a feeling I might get a couple of these. And oh, fuck. Calia the Vast, looking nice. I saw the original art of this go for like thirty five thousand or something ridiculous. Holy crap! Uh, yeah, we got we got one red, white, and black flyer two two. Whenever Calia the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking that opponent. What? What? Sorry, brainstorm. I didn't mean to slap you. What? Ridiculous. Let's start sleeving, baby. This is this is a. This whole pack is sleevable. Yeesh. Uh, keep the UPCs. Watsi is exchanging UPCs for regular Double Masters packs one for one. Oh, snap. I'll take that. That sounds great. Uh, Calia of the Vast. I was informed by my friend Octopimp, who is uh, getting back into Magic the Gathering, that he is creating a Cal Calia of the Vast Um EDH commander deck with Kalia. It's an angels, I believe it's just an angels and demons deck. But oh fuck, dude. Put him in upside down. I'm putting him in perfect fits. So if I ever want to put him into a deck, I'd slide the perfect fits into a into a uh, like a dragon shield or whatever. And then they're double sleeved. Boom, done. I figure, you know, it's like you're probably going to use rares like that. I mean, I'm probably going to use this in my Knights deck. So I'm probably going to use rares that I pull f um, from these older sets in decks. So might as well just cut out the middleman and do the, the perfect fit. And then we got these lands. I mean, you know, good old, uh, good old artists that shall not be named by did most of them, some of them. Uh, and then, you know, they're cool, whatever. I like the ones that aren't drawn by him. All right, let's do another one. Ba-boom, baby. Going straight into this. Oh, snap. We got a... Whoa! We got some fucking donos rolling in. Some super tats, baby. Ashley Egan, extra blessings for a good pull. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate that. Ty Chuck, heck of my balls. I'm so ready for this. Love Zendikar, and I'm psyched for the polls. Good luck. Hoping y'all in the U.S. stay safe. Hope you stay safe, too, Ty. I don't know where you're from. But I hope you say, say, oh, Canada, because that's the currency that you just uh, used. So uh, stay safe in Canada. Juice Lord. Um, hope you don't pull too many Lo Noah lands. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh. Uh, Joachim Helvik. God, I hope I pronounced that right. Dang, all the shinies comes out today. Love ya. Hope to see you back in Norway. Ugh, I hope to see me back in Norway too, man. I fucking love Norway. It's beautiful, man. Um... Telekinetic Bolt. I'm 25 and have no experience in animation. I have nothing to show. Is it too late for me? Did I waste my life? Hell no, dude. You know what I always say to people like that? Fucking, uh, the Colonel? You know, KFC, the Colonel? He was like, what, like 70 when he made KFC or something like that? Like, he was, he was, he was, and, and before that, I don't think he, like, accomplished much. So, uh, there you go, man. It's never too late. Do what you love. DBZ player, thank you. 
Howdy diddly, Aaron. I love these streams so much and love how much this game has captivated you as it has many of us. Also, in one of you and Dan's reaction videos, Dan mentioned downloading MTG Arena and he plans to do a game between you and Dan on GG. Yes, we have planned that for a while. Um, it is up to Dan because we have an account that was donated to us by a very uh, wonderful dude. Uh, I believe his name is Alan. Um, it's his personal account, so he still plays on it, but he he let us... He's got tons and tons of decks. So I told Dan to um, to go in, play some matches, check out some decks, um, get acquainted. Um, I don't know if he's done it yet or not, but I'll, I'll remind him. Because I really do want to do some some games of Arena with him on Game Grumps. That would be so fun. Um, where was I? Willie Brad, welcome back. Thank you, man. Hope your new cards are sweet. My polls were sick. I mean, I'm already getting sick polls. I got that Kalia and I got that Sunforger. I'm hoping for uh, a Stoneforge Mystic um, for my nice deck. A um, lot of good stuff in this set. Like a lot of really, really good cards that I'm 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 excited to pull. Um, Joey Camacho, got my iPad for chat, phone and video and headphones, Gaga in the background, fully prepping for a Coachella-themed birthday for a friend. Small group, less than 10, temps at door. Uh, I'm in for it, for the long haul. Hey, man, you do you. That sounds that sounds like you got your life in fucking order right now. Listen to some Gaga? Hell yeah. Uh, oh, should I sleeve Oubliette? All right, let's do that. Yeah, I realize that there's like there's a lot of value. I think Overflowing Chalice is also a pretty good one. Um, I realize there's a lot of value uncommons and like even a couple value rares. So um, yeah, let me know. Just let me know when when we roll pro across one. I could load up Dawn Glare real quick and check him out. Uh, Juan Francisco Martinez Gomez. Thank you, Aaron. There's a lot of cards. Uh, do you recommend something to get started? I love your content. Keep with the good work, man. Um, just use, just get Arena, man. Um, I know it's you know everybody's locked down right now, so Arena is the best play to just pick, best way to pick up and play and learn to play. Um, but for me, I just started with precons, you know, and I just started uh, playing with precons. Um, if we're talking like, if you just, it's like just go to Target or, well, you should go to a local game store. Um, and pick up like a one of the more recent precons, uh, but the best precons so far that I've experienced have been the guild kits. Um, they uh, they look like this. They come in these like cool containers, um, and they're just like solid decks, man. They they all have like a unique um, sort of thing going on about them. They're like well constructed. You know, it's obviously they're not like tournament ready. But they're 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 fucking solid decks, man. Like, you know, you, 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 I, I if I sit down with a friend and they have these unique lands that are just dope as hell. Um, but if I sit down with a friend and just want to play like a casual game of Magic, like I'll pull out the Guild Kits and we'll just, you know, I'll just be like, oh, I'll go Boros, I'll go Golgari, and then we'll just play a game and it, and it feels balanced and fun. Um, also, I believe, uh, what are they called? The Challenger decks? Those are really, really good, because those are based on, um, you know, the, the, the meta decks that were, that were really popular, and, like, the Eldraine Theros meta, you know, you got, like, Brazen Borrowers in there, and, uh, you get a red deck and stuff. Uh, Kalia Foil is 72 bucks. Fucking really? Jesus. Oubliette Foil is seven? Okay. <laughs> So I think we, I never, I didn't think pulling any of these would like pay for the packs, but I guess they have. Um, oh man, we're getting a lot of super chats coming in. Thank you so much. And Carl, Carlagen, Carl, and oh God, I'm so sorry. Still have zero knowledge on MTG, but your enthusiasm is infectious. Might get into it more after the BSB tour. Good luck today. Stay safe. You too, Anne. Thank you so much. Odd Grim, one time I got so high watching the 10-minute power hour, I watched your mustache melt onto the table and Dan's laugh was stuck on an endless loop. Oh, God, that's my biggest fear is the loop. Uh, whenever, you know, the very brief period of my life where I I, I had the devil's, cab the devil's cabbage, um, it was the looping that was the worst thing for me. Um, so there's something about loops that, that just freaked me out. Antonio Henderson, good luck on the pulls, Aaron. Pulled a Blightsteel Colossus myself for Brea EDH. Uh, nice. 
or his Wrath playthrough, maybe. Hope the GG crew is holding up well. We're doing all right, man. You know, trying not to go absolutely nuts. Uh, Patrick Holtzhausen. Uh, hey, Aaron, I got a regular Double Masters box for my LGS and got a Force of Will and Exploration box topper. Damn, dude. That is some sick box topper pullage right there. Uh, hoping you get those sweet pulls. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, Samurai Tiger 19. Aaron, do you play Commander? If so, who's your current favorite Commander? Um, I am building a Commander deck right now to play with Pleasant Kenobi. Um, it is a Knights Commander deck, and uh, my Commander is uh, Sir Gwyn. So it's a like a Knights Equipment deck, as is usually what the Knights deck is. Um, Sam Rush. Hey, Aaron, I love these streams so much. Seeing you get excited and passionate about this makes me super happy. I hope you're doing well. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it, and welcome back. Uh, Leo Mountford, I'm not super into cards, but the chill Aaron vibes and chat energy is amazing. Any tips for keeping happy in quarantine, Aaron? Love you. Um, meditation, uh, just, um, taking it day by day. You know, I think, I think the hardest thing was like, it, it, it's the uncertainty, man. It's like, when's this going to end? Um, and, you know, there's no answer to that. So you just sort of have to accept that and be like, well, this is my life right now you know, what can I do to, to live the life that I want to live within the parameters of this? And, you know, you might be surprised to find that the answer to that. Um, merely flowers. Thank you, man, Aaron. Why don't you ever check out the prices on my dong lair? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I appreciate the <laughs> super chat. Joshua Ryan, yo, Aaron, just got my Ring Fit adventure. Now we can get yoked together in quarantine. Also, Dan plus Ring Fit plus Power Hour. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. I, I love Ring Fit. Um, I haven't been using it as much lately because I've been trying to lose weight, which sounds counterintuitive, but the m my reasoning on this is when I exercise aggressively, I get hungrier. Um, and I think the biggest thing for me is I, I don't have any problem exercising. I love exercising, but it's it's eating a certain amount of food that I have a problem with. So to me, it was more important to get myself in a place where I was able to reduce the amount that I was eating um, as opposed to like extra. So, so like every week I'll do like sort of like a maintenance workout. Um, but for the most part, I'm just, I'm just going on walks and uh, eating less. Cause like I said, if I, if I did ring fit adventure, aggressively right now or like lifted weights aggressively i would just get really hungry and just blow my diet um mitch fitzgerald hey would you be up for playing on game nights absolutely i think that show is great and well produced um and those guys seem nice joey camacho favorite strain of the grass <laughs> i'm in florida with my medicinal no i don't i don't do it, it it's too much for me uh, Keaton Simpson, pulled a sword of fire and ice and blood moon box topper from a VIP pack. Here's to 10 times as many great pulls as I got. Thank you, Keaton. I appreciate that. I'm trying to pull the swords too. Um, great for my knight's deck. Uh, telekinetic Bolt, thank you for that advice. I was in a dark place, let's just say. I really want to draw cartoons. Just do it, man. That's the perfect opportunity to. You don't need to go anywhere or do anything. Just sit down on your computer and start drawing. That's all there is to it, man. Mm. Oh, thank you. Got some food waiting for me after this. All right, let's do this. So there's a, there's a lot of super chats. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Okie doke. Mm. All right. Second pack. <laughs> Half an hour in. Second pack. That's how these go, man. That's how these go. God, the camera on the iPhone is just so good. It's, it's hilarious that with all this equipment and all this stuff, so far the best thing I've got from home is just my iPhone. It just works, man. You just hit go live and it's live and the camera works. And All right, I need to pull out the lands so that this is easier to hold. All right, we got that Cloud Reader Sphinx. Love it. <laughs> Very... Very strange, like very Ninja Gaiden-esque, but here we go. Remember the Fallen, beautiful. Little Goblin Gavalier. <laughs> Apprentice Wizard, well, who drew that? Richard Kane Ferguson. Damn, dude, there's a fucking lot going on there. I, I feel like the person who had to foil that was just like, you, 
you want me to foil this? Oh, Jesus. Uh, accomplished automaton, supernatural stamina. We got that in uh, some other pack. Chatter of the Squirrel. <laughs> Is this really a fucking master's card? Chatter of the Squirrel. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. I am eating. What is that supposed to be his spit or is that blood? God, that's gross. All right, chatter of the squirrel. Hey, there's his power plant. Here we go. The Tron lands, as they call them. Yeah, that's nice. There's his power plant. Eager construct. This is uh, I they tried to release this as a as a as a toy in the uh, the early two thousands. It didn't work out so well. You know, back when virtual pets were so big. Throne of Geth. Got to proliferate, dude. That's a that's a pretty dope card, actually. Uh, tap and sack, and you can proliferate. That's nice. Another Oriok Salvagers. Who cares? Hey! Foil Fatal Push. I'll take the shit out of that. Ding, 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 kind of. I'll put a ding down and sleeve that. And put that aside. Bloodshot Trainee. It's just, just pulling and pulling. He'll never stop. Skull Mulcher once again. That's what happens when you... Pull the molds. You got to topple the statue. Oh, that poor statue. What are they going to do about it? Oh, Naji Nada. <laughs> oh, Naji Nada. Oh, okay. And man, you get a lot of fucking uncommons out of these. Uh, Mork Rut Banshee. That's some uh, Innistrad, yeah? Beautiful. You know, there's something about this card. There's just something about it. Ooh, engineered explosives! Holy shit, dude, we're getting the hits. The hits keep rolling in, baby. <laughs> the hits keep rolling in. I'll take an engineered explosives any day. And we got heartbeat of spring. I don't know what that's all about. Well, let's read engineer explosives first. Uh, you can play it for X, sunburst. This enters the battlefield with a charge counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Uh, two, sacrifice engineer explosives. Destroy each... Non-land permanent with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on engineered explosives. It's like a it's like a blast zone, but an artifact. You got Heartbeat of Spring. Uh, whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana of any type that land produced. Um, wow. That's that's gotta be valuable. Come on, that's that's good. Uh, oh, whoa, holy shit. Full art fatal push? I didn't even know this was a thing. It fucking rules. <laughs> I love this. Love this, dude. <laughs> wow. Okay. And here's the second one. We got a... Oh! Fuck! We got a mythic Chrome Mox. Hmm. Give it a little uh, imprint. When Chrome Mox enters the battlefield, you may exile uh, a non-artifact, non-land card from your hand, and you can add one mana of any of the exiled card's colors. Pretty awesome pulls. Damn, dude. Woof. Yeah, we got that double push. Somebody was somebody was feeling very forceful. Do you think uh Fatal Push was inspired by 300, right? Like it had to be. It's 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 just 300. Like that's what it is. It's the fucking burn 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 burn. All right. <laughs> Right. Yeah, we're getting some lucky pulls out of these, man. I'm, I'm, I'm tell you what, man. I'm, I'm way into this shit. Full engineered explosives action. Are we paying for the packs? Are we paying for the packs right now? I think we might be paying for the packs so far. Breaking even on this. All right. Oh, actually, I should put, I should put the push with the uncommons. Okie doke. Round three. Hmm. Open up these motherfucking yeah, what you, knife ain't sharp enough, dude. It's not even not even piercing the box. Oh. Save the UPCs, huh? That's what they say. Save the UPCs. Alright. Do you have to like mail it in and uh, oh boy. I will say though, it seems like uh buying the box is the way to go. I mean the VIPs it's like yeah, if you get a fucking force of will, like congratulations, you just paid for 
the box like three times over, but you know, everything else it feels like you really gotta be playing to the hits in order to to make this worth it. Mox foil is 80. Woof! Damn, I'm doing pretty well. Okay, let me uh just uh get rid of those lands. Nobody cares. I mean John Avon, great artist. John Avon lands are dope. Got Apprentice Wizard, a little revoke his existence. Hey, skin brand goblin. I like I like his his skin brand, dude. Marco Nalore, dude. <laughs> He's got a shiny little pokey. Another Urza's power plant. Bone Picker. Hey, I, I recognize a lot of these cards from, from boxes that we've pulled. Death Hood Cobra, dude. You can't see. <laughs> He's like, get this fucking Death Hood off me. Why do you think I'm all chewed up? Ah. Uh, sickle Slicer. Dude, we're pulling, we're pulling snakes up the wazoo, man. Snakes living weapon. Love that. Chromatic Star. All right. That's like almost a dollar, right? Let's, let's leave that. Throne of Geth, once again. The Oriox Salvagers. We can get a lot of the... Oh, my God! Hell, yeah! I mean, fucking... Skull Mulcher, man. What is going on with Skull Mulcher here? Everybody loves Skull Mulcher. And Topple the... What? It's all... What? Are there only, like, six uncommons in the entire set? What the fuck is going on here? Okay, Blink Moth Nexus. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, it's a land. It can tap for generic. If you pay one, it becomes a 1-1 Blink Moth artifact creature with flying until end of turn. It's still a land. If you pay one and tap it, uh, target Blink Moth creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Interesting. Okay. We've got Imperial Recruiter. That looks like a happy... A happy chap right there. <laughs> I've got a scroll. I've got these statues. Baby, there's nothing better. Uh, three drop. Red, one, one. When Imperial Recruiters enters the battlefield, search your library for a creature card with the power of two or less. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. A nice little nice little tutor. Oh, that's a serious hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'll take that. That's nice. I mean, yeah, this is a fucking red tutor. That's great. Woof. Okie doke. Hey, another Fatal Push. <laughs> Dude, I got a fucking play set of Fatal Pushes now. And, uh, oh, shit! Batter Skull, motherfucker! Yo, remember when we pulled this from Cold Snap? Was it from Cold Snap? I'm pretty sure it was from Cold Snap. Hey, five drop, equipment, living weapon. When this equipment enters the battlefield, create a zero, zero black germ creature token, then attach this to it. Equipped creature gets plus four, plus four, and has Vigilance and Lifelink. Return battle score to its owner's hand. Fucking fantastic, dude. Fan tat. Was it not Cold Snap? That was New Phyrexia. Okay, great. My bad. I got the old ones confused because I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus egg, dude. <laughs> nice. Wow, man. We're getting some value out of these. Look at that. Oh. Ah, oh, man. These cards are fucking beautiful, man. Like, <sighs> I love the full arts. I, I'm I'm not sure how everyone feels about the full arts, but I'm I'm I love the full arts. Are we did we did we break even on that pack? We break even on that box? That little that little booster pack? I love that it's like this giant fucking box and it's like, no, it's just one pack. I'll sleeve that fatal push and sleeve this chromatic star. Very nice. Little chromatic star action. And that's a common. Gotta throw that over there. Put the uncommon over here. Oh, four rares, man. Fucking battle sh batter skull. Have we gotten a mythic in every pack? I think so. It's not bad. Not bad indeed. Sleeve the Tron lands. All right. Are the are the Tron lands worth a ton? I thought they were only worth something if they if you got the alt art. Uh. Yeah, okay. Sleeve the fatal push. Oh, where's his power plant? Two power plants. I'm going to have so much power, dude. Urza's not even going to know what to do with it. Poor Urza, man. What is he going to do? All that power? All right. I mean, it, 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 it makes sense that a lot of these cards are so valuable because they're, you know, these packs are so prohibitively expensive. Hmm. Ah. Uh. 
I mean, can, can you believe that the Zendikar box that I'm about to open was actually cheaper when it came out than this is right now? Than this is. It's, it's wild. You can pull a fucking Lotus or whatever. You have a chance of pulling a Lotus or whatever. and It was cheaper than this. That's, that's wild, dude. <clears throat> All right. Let's do one more box, and then we'll read some, we'll read some super chuts. How about that? Blink Moth is thirty foiled. Oof, damn. Basalt Monolith is like twenty bucks. Oof, yeah. Okay. Then we got our bad boy here. Got to save the UPC codes, man. If they're if they're handing out free packs for that, excellent. I'll take it extra chance at a, at a sword. I'm really hoping for swords, just for so everyone knows that. I'm hoping for swords. Um, and a Stoneforge Mystic. That's what I'm... You know, obviously, like, I'm not going to complain if I get a Mana Crypt and a Force of Will or whatever. Like, that's great. But in terms of, like, what I'm playing right now, I'm, I'm looking for that Stoneforge. Sanctum Gargoyle. Oh, it fucking lands. Let's get... How many... How many lands are there in this pack? I feel like I can count... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to... Don't want to ruin my uh, surprise here with these full arts. All right. Sanctum Gargoyle. Silly face. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Balduvian Rage. Oh, that's that's a Cold Snap card. That's I remember that from Cold Snap. That's cool. Metallic Rebuke. That This is how I felt about like the first Transformers movie trailer. I was like, what am I looking at here? Uh, fortify. Gotta fortify, baby. Oh, Hers is mine. Here we go. Tron land up the wazoo. We're getting it done, baby. We're getting it done in the sun. Let's get this uh, light closer here so we can get some more. Oh, wait. Actually, let's let's uh, move it in closer, but to the side so that there we go. That's good. A little fierce empath. I don't know what's so empathetic about a dude in a tree. Dark steel axe. Savage. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. <laughs> this this puzzle, this is Metal Spinner is Puzzled Knot. All right. Uh, Valor in Akros. Very cool. Oval Chase Daredevil. Yes. Who is she? Let me guess. You thought I was dead. Hmm. I didn't, but I was just kind of, just kind of thought you looked neat. We got Sandstone Oracle right here. Hmm. How about a weapons trainer? Oh, look at that. Mm, yes. Look at those fucking eyes. Wow. That's nice foiling. Okay. All right, human soldier ally. When I'm done training you, anything will be a deadly weapon. Oh, there we go. I like that. Little Ash Barons. You can cycle it and add generic. That's, that's all right. Ah, oh, here we go. Somebody was just talking about this. Basalt Monolith. That's nice. Going to sleeve that shit. Uh, doesn't untap during your untap step. Uh, you add three, and you can untap Basalt Monolith by paying three. That's really nice. Nice little options there. We got Sarah Sphinx right here, just taking a drink of water. Just taking a little drink of water, no big deal. It's just sexy Sphinx over here. We got Dismantle. Yeah. Dismantle by force. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Magus of the Abyss. We got some rares right here. Four drop. Four, three. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, destroy target non-artifact creature that player controls of their choice. It can't be regenerated. Ooh, that's... Wow, that's like... Um, uh, doom foretold in creature form. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. A, a toxic something or other in the full art. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. Vexing. What, what is oofing? Oh, oh, big whiff. Got it. Okay. Vexing Shusher. <laughs> Shh. Wow, I can't believe they turned, like, a librarian into it. Like, <laughs> Shusher is, like, eight bucks. Eh, whatever. It's a uh, two-drop. Two-two. This spell can't be countered. Target spell can't be countered. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, you put that in, a like, a Simic deck? That's pretty good. Got a little exploration, a little boom, boom, biggity, boom right there. Oh, one drop green. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Very nice. Very nice. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. 
and it's fucking gorgeous. I mean, come on. Was that Mark Poole? Pfft, dude, I'm about to make a pool of tears looking at this. Damn, dude. Exploration, baby. Oh. Whew. Oh, and we got an expedition map. Hello, Mr. Expedition. Little one drop. You can pay two and, and tap and sack. Search your library for a land card reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Ah, so sort of a sort of an artifact fetch land for, for a price. Not 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 bad, not bad. Twenty-three bucks. Hey, whatever, man. I'll take it. So like so every single like full art foil is worth something, right? Like even if it's not that big of a deal, I feel like that you have to at least sink, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever each one of these boosters is worth to to even get it. So like what's the lowest what's the lowest value full art foil? It's gotta be something like thirteen bucks or something, right? Like I can't imagine it going below 10. Just for like collectors. 15 bucks. Phyrexian Metaphorph is, is 20 and it's the lowest, okay. Meddling Mage. All right, Sleeve the Ears is mine. Meddling Mage is 10 to 15, okay. That's, that's what I thought. Like there's no way it's below uh, 10 bucks. All right, let's check out some Super Chats real quick. Say hello to some people. Uh, Jack Lapidus. You've got me into MTG and now I can't stop playing Arena. Help. Oh, man. I'm not helping you. Help yourself. Have some fun. Enjoy that game, right? Mitch Fitzgerald. Hey, Aaron. Hopefully I'll get to see you on game nights then. Love the new channel and stay healthy. Thank you, man. Yeah, I would love to, I would love to go on game nights, dude. That would be so, super, super fun. I, I mean, there's there's something special about paper magic, you know. Like, I don't think it'll ever get replaced by digital magic. It's just it's just a great, feel. especially because so many of the fans of Magic: The Gathering, you know, people who've been around forever, have been playing paper magic for, you know, God, it's it's twenty something years. Like you just, that's just what magic is to most people. Uh, Willie Brad. Might be silly, but it feels good to welcome back by Ego. Love this community. I'm editing my Double Masters box opening video. Happy that you're streaming. Hey, that's awesome, man. I would love to see that. Um, David Lara. Good luck, Aaron. My biggest pulls were Doubling Season, Avacyn, Cyclonic Rift, and Force of Will. Man, Force of Will is getting handed out like candy. Can't pull a trigger on the VIP boxes. Can't pull the trigger on the VIP boxes. Have fun. Yeah, man. They're, it's, they're, they're a little rich. Um... But it seems like they're delivering right now. Brian the Cheese Man. Hey, Aaron. I wanted to let you know your profoundly positive effect on me. Danny and yourself have gotten me through a lot of mental health struggles and are one of the forefront reasons I'm still here. Love you lots. Brian. Thanks, Brian. I really appreciate that. Um, always feels good to know that we're having a positive effect on people. You know, for When we're doing it, it's just me and Dan trying to make each other laugh. Um, just fucking being silly, playing a video game. But... Whenever we see stuff like that, I mean, it's, you know, puts it into perspective, like, that it, what we're doing means a lot to people, so thank you. KP, add that weapons dude to knights for sure. Weapons dude. What you talking about? Weapons dude. Oh, this guy. No, is that weapons dude? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, but... I'm I'm I've already pulled cards that I'm like oh shit I should add this to the night nice deck. Um, Patrick Jane's big money big money big money hey thank you I'm hoping that's what we get. Uh, the Duke of Taco Tamil is my safe word. <laughs> that's hot. Eric Keller with all the Monopoly style games on Grumps any plans for Dokapon try number two? We have we've mused about that. I would really love to try that. That would be really fun. Khaled, Tim Roz. Hey, Aaron, really appreciate everything you guys at Game Grumps do. I know you've heard it a lot, but you guys are really brightening the day of a lot of people now who uh, who need it. Thank you, man. That's that's our goal, man. I, I mean, if, if what we're good at is making comedy and making regular content for people, then we'll just keep doing it, you know? It's like I'm not a, I'm not a first responder. I'm not a, I'm not a medical professional. Like, if what I do in 
trying to make people laugh is 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 helping then by George I'm gonna keep doing it um Oddgrim once again hey do you ever imagine what your chat looks like in real life could you imagine 1,000 sitting in front of you uh what would you guess I look like <laughs> uh, I don't know man I, I you know I don't know uh I, I I try not to that that that's actually something that um that I said in sort of in reverse uh, we were doing a live show and there was a there was a, a very nice kid who uh, asked a question and he was like, "Hey, I'm just starting out. You know, I'm a little discouraged. Uh, you know, I have I have uh, X subscriber. It was it's something like, yeah, you know, like two thousand or four thousand subscribers or something like that. Um, and I was like, that's really good, especially for starting out." Um, but you know, he was comparing himself to a channel like Game Grumps or something. It's got like 5 million or whatever. Um, but I was like, Hey man, think about it like this. You know, you're sitting in a crowd right now and when everyone loads in this theater is going to, it's going to have like, you know, 1500 people in it and just like look around and, and, and see like the vastness of how many people that is. And then multiply that by two. And that's how many people are watching you on a regular basis. You know, that's how many people are subscribed to you. Like that's not nothing. You know, it's like we see these numbers and we compare them and we're like, oh, you know, that's, but that's nothing compared to, it's like, that, that's a lot of people, you know, like, and, and, and they're people that like volunteered to have you in their life, you know, I think that's, that's pretty dope. So, um, if I could turn that into a little positive, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I try not to, I try not to imagine what the chat looks like in real life, you know, it's just, just people, just people. Um, John Lee, love the streams, Aaron. Uh, I had a foil and a non-foil Grand Abolisher from Corset 2012 a while back. Nice. I'm not familiar with that card, but that sounds pretty dope. KP, uh, he was a common or uncommon. I don't know what that's referring to. Oh, the, uh, the weapons do. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, A stands for French. Welcome back. Since you got me back in the MTG, I went through all my old cards, including Pokemon, and found a shiny Kabutops, Noctowl, and Mewtwo worth $1,000. Hell yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, congratulations on that one. Um, yeah, the only, like, super valuable card I had from my old collection was a Blaine's Charizard from Japan. Um, I'm not sure if I still have older cards. I had a, you know, like a base set Blastoise a long time ago, but I think I got rid of it. Z Zions. Hey, Aaron, if I had some custom commander decks for you and Dan, what P.O. box could I send them to? Um, you can send them to the Game Grumps P.O. box. So that's in the uh, About section on the Game Grumps YouTube page. Um, that would be cool. And, you know, I would appreciate it. No no, no pressure to do that, though. Hey, Emmanuel Rivera, welcome back. Hey, thank you so much. Question, Aaron. Would you rather have Beedrill or Dunsparce as a pet? Dunsparce. Sorry for disappearing. Dealing with a big oof over here in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, I bet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dad, don't even fucking worry. Dude, I, listen. I, there's. Please don't apologize for not coming to a stream. That's, that's uh, you know, I don't expect anyone to show up. So I, I'm super grateful that you that you make it here all the time and, and are very generous. Um, and I'm sorry to hear about what's going on in the Middle East. Uh, but thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Uh, we're four four booster packs down, four to go for VIP. Double. These go so fast. I'm 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 actually a little sad because these are such like exciting hits. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, yeah, I guess we got Zendikar to look forward to. So that's that's pretty dope. I really hope I'm I get a hidden treasure. Hearing all these stories about people and they're like, yeah, you know, I just went to the pre-release and. Ended up, you know, cracking a, uh, uh, like a fucking sapphire, mock sapphire, or whatever. It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. So, I, I have heard that, um, you know, if you get a Zendikar pre-release kit, it's, it's, that's the guaranteed run. I mean, they only made one, because it was the pre-release kit. So, um, those definitely have the potential to have uh hidden hidden treasures in them. So I was thinking of maybe getting a couple of those. And there we go. 
Put the lands out. And here we go. It's a little Steel Sabotage. Creepy, creepy, creepy. But love it. Crusader of Audric. Ah, oh, love her. Human Soldier. Come on. Ah, oh, look at how fucking powerful and dope she is. Ah, oh, jeez. Weapon Surge. <laughs> yeah, I got a big weapon. So what? Uh, kind of looks like Raoul a little bit. Brainstorm. Ain't that a value card? Let's put that aside. Nice. I'm loving that. I love the meme where that's like, you know, it's like the, it's like the big brain meme and like that's one of them. Uh, Divest. Uh, hate it. Would never want that creature on my head. You got Might of the Masses. <laughs> I'm going to eat the shit out of this tree root, baby. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, or maybe the bundles I'm thinking about for Zendikar. I don't know. I was told that there was some uh, supplementary product that, that is guaranteed to be uh, that. Whoa, look at this stained glass motherfucker. That's dope. Joshua Hagler. Volshock Gauntlets. Looks like he's clapping really aggressively. He's like, yay! <laughs> On the Volshock Gauntlets, dude! Oh, man. Ellis Norn's hand in the art. Oh, which art? Which art are we talking about here? I'm not sure. All right. Uh, we got the Thopter Foundry right here. Baby, baby. Beautiful card. Valor and Akros once again. We got Mishra's Factory. Okay. Very cool. Not sure if that's a value card, but I'll, I'll find out in the chat in a second. We got Treasure Keeper. Keeping that treasure right in there. Not hiding it very well. Kind of glowy. Drown in Sorrow. This is like me during quarantine like 90% of the time. Death Reap Ritual. I have no idea what's going on here and it's fucking gorgeous. And we got trash for treasure. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. And thirst for knowledge. I think, uh... Oh, this is, yeah, this is like the one from Theros. It's like very, very close. Uh, okay. And, oh, here we go. The rare is Twilight Mire. Got a little fucking filter land right here. Twilight Mire, baby. Oh. Little, uh... Very nice. I'll take that. Blade Splicer. Don't know. It's a three drop, one, one. When Blade Splicer enters the battlefield, create a three, three colorless golem artifact creature token. Golems you control have first strike. Oh, that's that sucks for the other person, I guess. I'm thinking of thirst for meaning. I see. Ah, got it. All right. Very cool. Crop Rotation. I don't think that's a hit at all. Uh, we got a one drop instant as an additional cost to cast a spell sacrifice land. Search your library for a land card, put that card on the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Oh, yeah, so you just get to cycle out of land. That's nice. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, God, look at that. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, Sword of Ice and Fire, three drop. Equip creature gets two, two. And has protection from red and from blue. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, sort of ice and fire deals two damage to any target and you draw a card. Oh my god, that's so fucking awesome. That's going in my night's deck. 100%. Oh, that's... Oh my god, look at that. Look at uh, look at how fucking foreboding that is. Like, there's, there's, there is detail on the background, but it's so fucking, like, blurred out and dark. Like, it's oh, so striking. Wonderful. Sword of Ice and Fire. I'll take the shit out of that any day. Any day. Hand it over. Give it to me. Deliver it to me in a pickup truck. Just the one card sitting on the bed. The bed in the pickup truck. I'll take that. Okay. Little Blade Splicer. Everyone's favorite card. They love it. Chat was going nuts for Blade Splicer. <laughs> they were losing their damn minds over here. What's the deal with the French filter lands? Is that is that a misprint? Where they it's like you pay um uh green and white to get green or black. It's really strange. Alright, let's do some more. Oh, look at him go. Look at chat go nuts for blade splicer, dude. 
Damn. French filter had wrong symbol for the cost. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I thought. I didn't, I, it had to be a misprint. I was like, that doesn't make any sense to, to filter. What would you call it then? If it, if it's not a filter, it's like a, like a conversion land, I guess. Hmm. Elish Norn's hands are in the box topper mocks opal. Ah, okay. All right. Oh, this is such a bummer. These are so much fun to open. It's three left. This one and two more. All right, let me let me wipe wipe out those lands real quick without peeking at the box toppers. Okie doke. We got rapacious dragon over here, <laughs> dude. Come on, fucking language. Uh, brainstorm once again. I'll take that. Glint sleeve artisan. Nice little Kaladesh block. Battle Rattle! He's back! Did, wasn't he just in fucking 2021? Why are they putting cards that just got reprinted in the next set? Like, that's... I don't understand. Driver of the Dead? I guess for draft, maybe? Draft? Uh, we got Blood Briar over here. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm gonna take a shit on the ground. Hope you don't mind. Got that Pyrite Spell Bomb. It's already gone off, so it's pretty pretty worthless at this point. Costly plunder. I don't know why is it so costly. Because he had to rip someone's arm off. Gleaming barrier. Very cool. Don't really know what's going on here. Lots of swords. Swords and so yeah, that would be a, that would be tough to get past. Olvenwald mysteries. <laughs> what happened to the boy? Hmm. I wonder. We got that vampire hex mage. Love that fucking like body paint. It's so fucking dope. I've always loved like that kind of. It's like Ah oh My Goddess. It had like little marks on their face and stuff. Thopter engineer. <laughs> Go, my friend. He just runs around and shits on a statue. Hey, Manamorphose! Foil, too. I'll take that. That's fucking awesome. Great. Great card. Great card. I know that's good. Uh, Death Reef Ritual once again. We got Top of the Statue once again. We got Joyra's Familiar. You think that what did that what did he see? <laughs> oh my god. Just saw his parents fucking or something. Okay. <clears throat> uh we got Trash for Treasure and Thought Reflection. Oh yeah, there wasn't this like part of the double masters theme. It's like everything oh, there's a lot of like double cards. It is a seven drop. Uh, if you would draw a card, draw two cards instead. Well, that's pretty dope. Very expensive, though. Um, to cast. Blood Moon. Non-basic lands or mountains. Very nice. I think that's a classic. Not sure if it's worth a whole lot, but uh, ding ding. Ding is, uh, Blood Moon's a ding. Okay, Blood Moon is a ding. Cyclonic Rift. Fucking getting all excited about that Rift action. You got a two-drop, return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. Hey, And I can overload. If you do change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh very cool. Very cool. That Rift, though. Hmm. And what do we got here behind here? Oh, that opal with Elish Norn. The Elish Norn hands. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. Add one mana of any color. Activate this ability. Only if you control three or more artifacts. Ooh. That's nice. You know, I might have to put this on my night's deck. I might have to put it in there. I got so much, so many artifacts in that deck. Man, I'm, I'm pulling all these fucking fantastic cards, dude. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, man. That's some that's some ding 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 action there. That's some dingity ding ding, baby. If someone's going to open up my fucking trading binder and they're just going to be like, "Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give you uh six hydroid crassuses for one one card. How about that? I'll give you uh I'll give you 10 smothering tithes for this card. Those are both Ravnica Allegiance cards. Okay. 
Manamorphos, man, that's a dope card. You get to you get to filter any mana and draw a card. That's so much value in one card. It's a free free card draw, dude. Free card draw. All right. We're doing well, man. We got two boxes left. Very nice. Uh, Sean Cronin. Hello, Aaron. Hope the magicking is going well. It's going very well. These, uh, those are not Elish Norn's hands in Mox Opal, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, powerful pulls. Uh, yeah, these mythics are, they're popping off. Uh, Joachim Hjelvik. God, I hope I pronounced that right. Are you planning to do Commander on your channel? Uh, I am. At some point. I mean, I'm hoping to do whatever, you know. I'm I'm just doing this right now because of quarantine, because the Backstreet Boys are just out there. And America, you know, they just can't resist those tickets. So once I can get into a space and start, like, producing actual content and not just streams. Not that the streams aren't content or whatever, but, you know, I want to do a show. I want to do, like, a real show. And uh, I'm thinking of partnering up with somebody. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. Pink Carnage, I'm back and ready to enjoy, uh, th welcome back. I'm back and ready to enjoy seeing you rip some amazing cards. I also got a Kalia and a Batter Skull as my DM box toppers. Nice! I put, I got a Batter Skull and a Kalia too in these, uh, VIP packs, so I'm very excited for that. KP, you got the sword! But I'm ch Hell yeah. Uh, Ixie Wuna. Good luck, Aaron. I bought one pack of VIP and a box topper foil Jace. I love Zendikar so much as my favorite sit. Get you some fetches. Yeah, I would love some fetches, dude. I am I am dangerously low on fetches. I certainly do not have a whole lot of them. All right, here we go. One of two left. These are so much fun to open. I'm just I'm just gonna say right now. It's like, was it worth it? I don't know. I can't say, but. Now that they're here, and I'm sort of distanced from that concept, and I'm just opening them, these are these are a blast. I I can't wait for the um the set boosters, man. Those are gonna be those are gonna be sick. Just a just a new like booster pack opening experience, because it's true, man. Like, you know, for me, I love opening cards and just looking at the art and whatever. But like, you know, it really is about like the hits at the end of the day. Um, so to have a, to have booster packs that where there's just like a, there's like a story to it. That's dope. Relic Hunter. Love her. Ugh, can't get enough of her. Angel of Dawn. Very cool. Temer Battle Rage. Oh, she mad. Oh, oh, she mad. You get a little Veldalkin Infuser. <laughs> I can hold my cane with these arms. It, it, he's holding the cane as if. He's, like, lifting it. Like, he's totally curling that right now. He's like, yeah, I like to work out my bottom arms, and then with my top arms, I conjure magic and shit. Might of the masses. We got Flare Husk. Don't know what's going on there. Very creepy creature. We got the fucking, uh... The fucking, uh... Thing. We got Conclave Naturalists. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> My name's Carl, and my name's Barl, and we're Carl and Bar. All right, that's fucking stupid. Mistress Factory. We got Painsmith. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Love Painsmith. Core Tapper. These mirrors, man. They're all over the place. Put a charge counter on target artifact. Oh. That's interesting. That goes with, uh, who's a what's it? That card that destroys all the charge counter stuff. Pretty nice. Uh, we got Hidden Stockpile. Little Gollum Artisan. <laughs> He's like, oh, I want to make him buff just like me, dude. Yes. Glass Dust Hulk. That's the uh, next Avenger. We got Woodland Champion. That, that I mean, this was... This was just printed recently. I don't understand. Unlicensed Disintegration. That was an Aether Revolt card, right? Stone Hewer Giant. <laughs> Look at him. He's just a fucking giant. Like, it's, it's just like, hey, what's up? I'm a giant. I've got two axes. Uh, five drop, four, four with Vigilance. You can pay two. 
and tap to search your library for an equipment card and put it on the battlefield. Attach to a creature you control, then shuffle your library. Whoa! That's a really good card for my fucking knight's deck. Holy crap. That's... That's awesome. No matter how strong, an unarmed fighter is no more than a fool. All right, cool. I'll take that. Hey, a normal cyclonic rift, but foil. Very nice. Fucking God's butthole. <laughs> but, like, it's like a butthole that sucks instead of a butthole that... All right, that's enough of that. Goblin Guide. Look at this fucking weirdo. It's a one-drop 2-2 two -two with haste. Whenever Goblin Guide attacks, defending player reveals the top card of their library. If it's a land card, that player puts it into their hand. Wow, that's uh, that's interesting. A one-drop 2-2 two -two with haste, but it lets them take a bunch of land. Here comes the map. Oh, wow. How'd you call that? Did you see it? Did it, like, peek out? Did it peek out? Does, is Goblin Guide, like, frequently paired with Expedition Map? Is that is that a thing? Every time. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, that's fucking strange. They're always next to each other. Wow. I wonder, like, I wonder if that's just, like, the way they printed them, or if that was, like, a flavor thing that they wanted to do. Huh. Because, I mean, if you're... Well, I guess you wouldn't really draft a, a VIP booster. All right, last one. Last one, and then we're on to Zendikar. Oh. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really hoping we get a... Stoneforge, looking for Stoneforge, looking for any sword, and of course a Mana Crypt or a, uh, a Mana Crypt or a Force of Will. All right, hey, we got a we got a thousand two hundred people watching right now. This is fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Okay, Let's put those lands aside. All right, Sanctum Spirit. Really appreciates the, the fine art of a stained glass window. Salivating gremlins. <laughs> Dude, that's me whenever Susie's like, let's get Taco Bell. I'm like, oh, oh, oh the salivating gremlin. I'm like, Frogify in a master set? Come <laughs> Weird. Strength of arms. Pretty dope. If you control an equipment, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier to, oh. That's interesting. Fierce Empath. Little mirror retriever using his silly feet. Can't use his hands because they're spikes. I remember that was a big joke about Sparkman and Crashman and Mega Man. Clear shot. I'm assuming that he has a clear shot. Iron League Steed. Very nice. Invigorate. I'm so strong I can hold this big thing. Thing. Buried Ruin. Uh, sacrifice Buried Ruin. Return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, interesting. Could be good for a knight's deck. <laughs> okay. Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Uh, great. Scary, but great. Valor and Akros once again. We got Pentad Prism. It's like a Flight of the Navigator ship or something. Another Ash Barons, a Valorous Stance. <laughs> the fucking dragon. Dude, he's got the same expression as Scred, dude. He's getting his butt sucked. <laughs> what? Hold on a second. Look at this. It's the same fucking expression. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Scred and Valorous Stance. They're both getting their butt sucked over here. Oh, so nice. Love Scred. Fantastic. Drown in Sorrow, me in quarantine once again. Hammer of Nazan! Legendary artifact. Four drop. When Hammer of Nazan or another equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach that equipment or target creature you control. Oh, that's nice. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has indestructible. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put that in my fucking Gwyn Commander. 
You know I'm going to. That's a fucking nice one. Oh, that's sick. That's vicious. Oh my god, baby! We got the sword. We got the sword of fire and ice. Protection from red and blue. We got plus two, plus two. Oh, look at it flame. Look at it burn. How come the bottom doesn't melt? You know what I mean? Like, that should be melted, like, right away. It was smart of them to put the ice on the bottom and then the fire on the top because the heat would rise and melt the... But it's still in close enough proximity to... What am I talking about? Here we go. Urza's mine! Oh, my God. Little Tron land, full art. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Because it's really cold. <laughs> All right. And what about this? Oh, my fucking God! Wow! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. We fucking did it, boys. Mana Crypt. Zero drop. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, it does three damage to you. Add double generic. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Let me just carefully sleeve that. Oh, sick. Very sick. Very, very sick. That rules. Thank you, uh, Magic the Gathering... Um, the, the MTG gods or whatever. This was... That was an amazing pack. Are you kidding me? Sword of Ice and Fire. Hammer of Nizan. Fucking full art foil mana crypt. I mean, what is that? That's like $226? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at, look at this last pack. Look at this last pack. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. re fucking ridiculous. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's review, shall we? Let's fucking review. We got the hammer. We got the mine. Uh, the sword. We got a f fucking mana crypt. I mean, you can't beat that. I guess you can beat that with force of will, but I would actually use this card. Um, the stone hewer, the cyclonic rift, the fucking... Screw you, pack. We got the Manamorphos, the Blood Moon, the Full Art Foil Cyclonic, the Mox Opal. Oh my god, two brainstorms. The Full Art Foil. That, yeah, I'm just looking through this. It's just like, oh my god. Well, I mean, I, it fucking should be. These packs are ridiculously expensive. We got the Recruiter, Batter Skull, the Explosives. That do got two full art fatal pushes, not to mention two foil regular fatal pushes. The Mox, the Sunforger, Calia, Brainstorm. We did it, boys. We did it, everyone. Very sick. Very good. And then we got just a shitload of lands and tokens, which I will not be uh, featuring because uh, who wants to see art from a uh, a, a predator? Nobody. Um, okay, here we go. We got KP. Ding, ding, ding for the dingus! Congrats on those polls, dude. Here's hoping for hidden treasure. I'm hoping, too, because Zendikar is up next. That's right. Uh, Patrick Holthausen. Drop the hammer of Hazan for knights. Ding, ding, ding! Oh, you know I am, baby. You know I am. Uh, Talahav999. Hey, Aaron. Hey, you. Oh, fucking John Avon's a great artist. I just don't want to fucking sort them by... <laughs> but... It's, okay, here. How's this? Beautiful. John Avon, you killed it. Gorgeous fucking forest art. Look at that. I love this one that's like curving. That's nice. Kind of has its own attitude going on here. Wonderful. And then, nope. And then, damn, look at this shit. John Avon, fuck, killed it, dude. You got these, it's, it's like kind of similar to the forest, but like now it's like dead and swampy, so there's like kind of like echoes going on. Beautiful. John Avon, you fucking kick ass. Planes! Look at that. Gets the point across. Beautiful use of color. I love all the texture on the on the uh, the, the sandy dunes. Like, wonderful, wonderful. Fuck this card. Oh, nice! We got those mountains. Look at that gorgeous little fucking blue uh, uh, highlights right there. Just making the whole thing pop. And, and like this great sense of scale and distance. This mountain in the back here. Oh, so beautiful. Fuck this card. Oh, nice! 
Islands. Dude, hearkening back to the classic island, it's just simple but effective. Great use of negative space. Love this shit. John Avon, you fucking killed it. Thank you so much for making the beautiful art and no one else. All right. Now. Mm. Let's get back to it. Adrian Hoffman, do you ever play D&D? They have books for creating a character in the MTG multiverse, and they're working on making a book about each of the planes. That's cool. Um, I've played D&D before. Um, I'm not, like, it didn't, didn't grab me, um, but I'd be, always be open to play another one. Um, Purified Storm. Welcome back. It's now August. Are we getting Majora's Mask or Link's Awakening playthrough this month? Take this, take this, take this. We are absolutely getting Majora's Mask back. We have recorded many episodes of it. Don't tell anybody. Um, Spadizzler. Your Grumps content has gotten me through good and bad times, so I wanted to thank you for that. Any chance we will see any legacy content eventually? Uh, legacy content? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to... Okay. Legacy is expensive. Legacy, the format. Oh, 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 for magic. Got it. I thought that was vintage, but I guess legacy and vintage are different. Legacy is like a $2,000 deck. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I, you know, maybe someday. I'm not opposed to it, certainly. Uh, Patrick Janes. In 2006, we called Set Boosters Time Spiral Packs. Oh! Little fucking, little fucking in-joke right there. Molly X, uh, I didn't know anything about magic, but I love these streams and your excitement over the beautiful art. Thank you so much. Juice Lord, I know Olivia Gobert Hicks live streams EDH games on Twitch. If you can get in contact with her, she always likes new people to play with. I would love to. That sounds fucking great. Um, would love to collaborate with more creators, especially once I'm creating like actual shows and stuff. Uh, Macho King Matt, hey, the Macho King! The John Avon Swamp looks like where you fight the sorrow in MGS3. Yes, I had that thought too. I absolutely had that thought. That's so true. This is the fucking sorrow when all the spirits are coming at you. It's like the exact same. Totally. Absolutely. Uh, biscuits wear. Righteous pulls, Aaron's. Hope those Zendikar pulls don't disappoint. Me too. I mean, at least we'll get some fetch lands. I mean, I hope so. Um, and Joey Camacho, once again, I set up wizards. Can we be friends, please? Joey the Vilest. Um, I'm assuming that means Arena. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm just down to play whoever. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on to Zendikar. Let's fucking do it. Oh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Can you... Oh, man. You know, I know it's not going to happen, and I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but can you... Can you imagine us pulling a fucking hid, hidden treasure? I mean, honestly, can you imagine? Oh, these little slips. They don't do this anymore. Join the network. You spoke, we listened, and the Wizards Network Play Network is the result. Wow, this was when WPN started, eh? Zendikar? Wow. Look at Chandra and her fucking flashy eyes. It's kind of creepy when they're dark like that. And then it's like, ma! Right. Got fucking Soren. All right. Oh. Let's get those fucking hidden treasures, baby. Let's get them. Let's just jump into it. These, am I going to have to, oh boy, oh. got to bite him, got to bite him, yeah man, let's jump in, I ain't got fucking more to say, whatever, let's fucking do it, plus I'm like getting hungry, so I got some food waiting for me, wine rider eel, <laughs> this guy looks like he's like pissed off, somebody made a joke at his expense, he's, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, this is in a group, and they were like, "Ah, yeah, it's you know, 
I'm not riding around in the clouds like Wind Rider. And he's like, hey, man, what the fuck? All right. We got that Cliff Threader. Cliff Threader. We got that Crip Ripper. Crip Ripper. Damn, dude, what the fuck? Dave Kendall. Got a sick mind. Uh, wh what's going on here? What is happening here, huh? What is going on? <laughs> Come on, man. We fucking expedition fat. This is ridiculous. We got that Molten Ravager. It's just, it had some curry, so his mouth's a little... We got the uh, Colony Heart Expedition, dude. Beautiful. That's that's gorgeous. If I found that, like, going on, I'd be like, uh, I want to approach, but I'd also be afraid it would zap me. We got Meyer Blight. Seems terrible. Wouldn't want to live there. Magma Rift. Oh, deals five damage to target creature. Very nice. Got a sack of land, though. Ridiculous. Zendikar Far Guide. <laughs> We're going to go far, dude. Keep up. It's like, dude, you're like the size of a fucking skyscraper. I can't keep up to you. You see how tiny those birds are? Yeah, uh, there's no way I'm keeping up. Yeah, hey, just keep up, man. Blazing Torch. Beautiful fucking, like, light rendering. Very cool. Aether Figment. Wow. <laughs> I see you. You can peek around, peek around walls and windows and stuff. Hedron Clab. Cra Hedron Clab. There we go. Hedron Crab. Very nice. And what we got here? Kabira Evangel. It's a three drop. Two, three. Whenever Kabira Evangel or another ally enters the battlefield under your controls, you may choose a color. If you do allies, you control gain protection from the chosen color until end of turn. Very nice. Got that full art. Got that illusion. And, oh, a little foil at the end. Shepherd of the Lost. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, very nice. I like. I want to see it. Um, okay. That's all right. Don't forget the crab. The crab is good. Oh, the crab? <laughs> is the crab good? Crab's good. Hedron crab. Okay, okay. Let's, let's read the crab, you know? Everyone's hyped about the crab. Let's take a look at it. Let's give it a little go. Hedron Crab. Uh, one drop, zero two. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, a target puts target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his graveyard. What the fuck? That's okay. I'll just leave the crab. Crab hype. Got a little Hedron Crab. All right, all right. This fucking crab. Hell yeah. Well, he loves that fucking jewel or whatever it is. He's like, <laughs> look at this fucking jewel. I love how it grows. He's obsessed, dude. He's looking at it and saying, oh, my God. You walk up to him and he's like, no, it's my, my jewel. You stay away, you fucking guy. And you're like, oh, dude, chill out, man. All right. It's a hedron. Sorry. You stay away from my hedron. <laughs> so he's a regular crab until he gets a hedron. And then he's a hedron crab. There's an Eldrazi in there. Whoa. Dude, I gotta learn more about the fucking magic lore because this shit is all new to me. We got Whiplash Trap right here. That Blade Tusk Boar. <laughs> Look at how fucking happy he is. <laughs> Yay! I love goring people. We got Core Skyfisher. Fucking love her. Love her invention. Would love to fucking fly around in that. We got that Crypt Ripper once again. Welkin Turn. Can't get enough of that welkin turn. Shieldmate's blessing. What the fuck? Is he barfing? And what is barfing? And is this a plant? And is this... Oh, Jesus. Shoal Serpent. <laughs> He's got a real low eye. <laughs> I like that. Or is he upside down? Is this, is this supposed to be like this? Oh, it is. Yeah, he's upside down. I thought for sure he just was a creature with a low eye. <laughs> Molten Ravager. He had too many curries. Beast Hunt. This is kind of beautiful. I love their rim lighting on them. Grim Discovery. Oh, is this... Hold on. Is this my boy? Oh, it's my boy! There he is, Molar. Oh! Love this. Love this. Christopher Molar. His use of just, like, basic colors, just the color blocking. It's so iconic, man. Baloth Woodcrasher. Very cool. We got the Shepherd of the Lost, but who cares? I got a foil of this one. Feast of the Blood. 
<laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like the fucking pizza just got here. <laughs> it's just, just the knock on the door. They're all like, is that the pizza? Who's going to get it? Lava ball trap. It's this eight drop instant trap. If an opponent had two or what is this? Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> If an opponent had two or more lands into the battlefield under his or her control this turn, you may pay five rather than pay Lava Ball Trap's mana cost, which is um, eight. Destroy two target lands. Lava Ball Trap deals four damage to each creature. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> that's kind of fucked, dude. I'm into that, though. That's a mean card. Zombie Giant? Ugh, dude. I don't know why I have so many jaws. You know, it's like that one likes veggies and that one likes pork and that one likes candy. So I just feed them whatever they dig. Yeah, it's, it's like one of those. Uh, it's like one of those erroneous tongue charts where it's like, oh, this part of your tongue senses salt, and it's like, well, not really, but all right. Uh... Okie doke. What do we got next? What do we got next? Uh, Susie did bl bless these packs. Um, she blessed all of them. So we're good. Somebody made a mean comment about his at his expense again. We got Cliff Threader. Burst Lightning. Kind of looks like a face. You seen that? It kind of looks like a face, like a doofy-ass face, and he's like... <laughs> like, like it made him stupid. <laughs> Like he was a smart mountain and then he got struck by the lightning and now he's like, Duh, maths is fun. All right, adventuring gear. Sucking on that. <laughs> torch slinger. <laughs> he's gonna sling that torch, dude. Vampire lacerator. I fucking love every vampire card. They're all hot. They're all hot. Umara raptor. Very cool. Keep that as a pet. Step links. <laughs> He sure is stepping, dude. I don't know. He's stepping the shit out of that step. Goblin war paint. Got a little caravan herda. You ever heard of the caravan? Because there he is. Got a Marasa Pyromancer. First uncommon. Very badass. Baloth cage trap. That's straight up fucking Luke Skywalker right there, dude. Did they copy Magic the Gathering? Did Star Wars copy Magic the Gathering? Let me know in the comments if you think so. Seascape aerialist. Very cool. And what's this predatory urge? <laughs> Who is this? No, Bradley? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> okay, forget that. Four. Enchantment creature. Enchant creature. It has tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. This creature deals damage equal to its power to this creature. All right, cool. That's great. We got an island, and we got rules right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, fucking he don't miss, baby. Ow. <laughs> All right. We got another one. Look at Nissa. Oh, she's so cool. She looks very concerned, though. She's like, hmm, I'm not sure if this is the way to do it. All right. No fetches yet. No fetches. No fetches. But it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Ruinous Minotaur. We got Stonework Puma. Damn, that's a ripped-ass fucking stone puma. Hideous end. Well, I don't think it's so hideous. It's just kind of goo coming out of his, his face and mouth. Oron Reef survivalist. Look at how fucking jacked he is. Oh my god, he's so jacked. God, I wish I could be that jacked. Tuck Tuck Grunts. <laughs> I'm a Tuck Tuck Grunt. Are you a Tuck Tuck Grunt? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a Tuck Tuck Grunt. Uh, did you say you were a Tuck Tuck Grunt? Yeah, I said it was a Tuck Tuck Grunt. Noble Vestige. That's creepy. This is like one of my worst nightmares. You know what this reminds me of? Remember in X Files, at the beginning when you see like the ghost and it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. it's like the ghost walking in the security camera footage. That's what it reminds me of. Hedron Scrambler. So is there an Eldrazi in each one of these? Let me know in the comments. Sectar Shrine Expedition. We found it. Scythe Tiger. God, how does he sit? How does he snuggle? I don't know. Seems like a rough, seems like a rough time. We got Cobra Trap. <laughs> this fucking guy, he's, <laughs> look at his fucking eyes. How close can I get? He's like, oh shit. 
Nice. Love that. Thanks, Scott Cho. Cho. Trusty machete. Looks more like just a fucking sword, but whatever. Uh, we got that Sejiri Refuge. And, oh, man, we got a mythic here. We got Soren Markov. How are we talking about? Is this Soren's first appearance? Because this is Soren into my value binder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. It's a six drop with a four loyalty. Plus two gives you Soren Markov. Deals two damage to target creature and player. You gain, uh, or player, and you gain two life. A little Soren's thirst action there. And then we got minus three target opponent's life total becomes ten. And then minus seven, you control target players next turn. What? Yo. Yeah, that's a game ender right there. Hey, uh, if you want some tips on Intimidate, I've got some for you right here. All right, those full art lands, very nice. And we got to sleeve that Soren, no problemo. Shpadoom. Love that. Very nice. All right, next pack. Minus three. Did I say minus? What did I say instead? Minus three? Life total becomes ten. Did I say something different? Oh, yeah. Life total becomes ten in Commander is so fucking mean. I wish I could minus three myself. Blade Tusk Boar. Happy boy. Piranha Marsh. It's <laughs> cute. Core Sanctifiers. Just pouring shit on a rock. Don't know why that makes you better than anyone else. Territorial Baloth. Fucking bloody boy. I knew it was, I knew it was Jesper. I knew, I knew it just because of the color choice. I was like, this is so fucking Jesper, dude. All right. Desecrated Earth. Fucking cool. I love the big, the like the big gloves and the big boots. Those are so cool. I love that. Darken. You can't, you can't do that. You can't just make your name something dope and then just put that, your name on everything. Darken. Aw, oh, come on, man. That's a fucking dope-ass name. We got Color of the Gales over here. Fucking Merfolk. I want to make a Merfolk deck. That'd be fun, right? We got Kraken Hatchling. Very cool. Goblin Warpaint once again. We got Ondu Cleric. Ondu sounds like a name that would be in like a new Star Wars thing. And you'd just be like, what's his name? Uglo? Ordu? Ondu? We got Gomazoa. Gomazoa. It's gross and I hate it. We got Needle Bite Trap. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then we got the World Queller. What do you think of that? Five drop, four, four. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may choose a card type. If you do, each player sacrifices a permanent of that type. Uh, oh, okay. That's, that's, oh, okay. Very nice. All right. And there we go. Hey, and what do we have here? More land from John Avon. Can't get enough of that. that that's like way different than his new lands, though. Pretty beautiful, though. I'm going to say right there. Let's leave this bad boy. Nice bulk rare. I love it, man. You know, I've said it on a previous stream, but I love it. It's just like every card, it's like no matter what. It could be like a 10-cent card, and people are like, dude, great for modern. And it's like, all right. <laughs> just uh, so many formats. You know what I can't wait for? For Pioneer to be in Arena? That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. You saying an artist can't evolve his style over time? Of course he can. I didn't say that at all. All right, we got Ruinous Minotaur. We got Explorer's Scope. Very nice. Little Hideous End. We got Plated Geopede. Fucking screaming ass Geopede here. Sorry, bro. You just got Geopede. <laughs> nice. A little government joke for you. Trap Finder's Trick. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening here. This is a. It's like a giant boy with. All right. Kelly and a Heart Expense. We got that Soul Stair Expedition. Is there a, like an expedition uh, cycle? Is that what's going on here? You got that barfing plant. You got that upside down shoal serpent. You got that turn timber basilisk. Damn, dude. <laughs> Fucking, what's he so upset about? What do you mean the ice cream machine's down? You got windborne charge. Oh, that was an uncommon, my bad. Brave the elements. Look at the color use on that, man. Fucking Goran. Stop being so Josic, dude. Blood Chief Ascension. Love her. Oh, step on me. Okay. 
We got, it's a one drop black at the beginning of each end step. If an opponent lost two or more life this turn, you may put a quest counter on Blood Chief Ascension. Uh, whenever a card is put on the opponent's graveyard from anywhere, if Blood Chief Ascension has three or more quest counters on it, you who may have that player lose two life. If you do, you gain two life. Ooh. Ooh. That's a ding, ding, ding. I like that. It's a little forest, little rules. Boom. I'm taking that Blood Chief Ascension all the way to the bank, baby. About 20 bucks. Ah ha. You know, it's kind of... Maybe I should have done Zendikar first because, like, every pack of VIP boosters is like, oh, yeah, no, that's a $3,000 card. So, like, getting, getting like, a $20 card on any other day would be like, oh, shit! But, like, today, it's like, oh, $20? I got that with a foil fatal push or whatever. Nice. Mmm. Okie doke. Let's keep it going. It's comparing hamburgers to steaks. That's what I'm saying, man. It just, it, like, sets your brain. Compare it to the price you pay for the box. There you go. Bold defense. Gotta fight the butthole slug. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, is that a butthole? <laughs> okay. All right, we already got these. Yep, yep, we got the tuk tuk. Are we tuk tuk? We got that heart stabber mosquito. Jesus Christ. It's... I'd be like, I'm never going outside again. Sorry. Umara Raptor. We got that McKinney shield mate. <laughs> oh, shit. Gruel draws vampire. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That pose is amazing. That's some, like, spider girl pose or whatever. Uh, Tangle sap. Oh, no. <laughs> Sticky, gooey stuff. Kazandu, blade master. Very nice. He looks like ninja. Kind of looks like ninja. <laughs> Fucking streamer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Calling a fetch. All right, here we go. Living, living tsunami. That's fucking cool. That's a great idea. Carnage altar. Sack a creature, draw a card. Oh my god! Who fu Who called a fetch? Scaldic. What the fuck? Sebastian Busto Smith. You kidding me? What the fuck? Everybody calling a fucking fetch. <laughs> oh, I, diviners? Soothsayers? What? Amazing. Well, that's getting sleeved. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Very pleased with that. A little Scalding Tarn. How about that? A little Fetch Land. You know, I am interested in the in the, in the concept of the, the Fetch Land. Um, because, uh, you know, you pay one life in order to fetch a basic land of your choice. But like a Shock Land, you pay two life to have access to two at any time, uh, just for that turn. Like I, you know, I, I feel like shock land is is like of comparable value, and yet the fetch lands are so much more expensive. Oh, you can search for shocks. Oh, a land of your choice. Got it. You can fetch a shock. You can't fetch a shock. Yeah, you can fetch shock lands. Okay. No one fetches basic. I see. I see. Yeah. So it's just an island or a mountain. Got it. That makes sense. I get it. I get it. Hag or crocodile. <laughs> I love crocodiles and alligators and caimans. Like I think they're so dope. Just they're just they're just fucking like real life dinosaurs. That's all they are. Not that dinosaurs weren't real, but like now. <laughs> Salvage silo savage silhouette. Love love that. <laughs> hey man, what the fuck? Got that turn again. Got that dope greaves and and gloves. The gales. We got the blood seeker. Nice. Aether figment. A little uncommon for you. A little rune flare trap. <laughs> it's very melodramatic. That feast of blood. Did the pizza get here? Pyromancer ascension. It's the shape of a butt, and then like. Like diarrhea coming out. That's disgusting. Well, why do I even say words? Two drop. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, you may put a quest counter on Pyromancer Ascension. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell while Pyromancer Ascension has two or more quest counters, you may copy that spell. Holy shit, that's good. Whoa, that's good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mountain. 
and a turn timber grove. Okay. You know, I, I sleeve the foils, but I don't feel like this is the, the best foil in the world. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, all right, fine. But the Pyromancer Ascension, I'll take that. That's a, that's a good one. All right, we got uh, four more in this stack, and I'll do some super chats. How about that? Ah. Huh. How about that, huh? Do a little, do a little chat, chat, chat. Uh, Nimana sellsword. Looks more like he's using him than. Oh right, a sellsword's like a mercenary. Never mind. Finds a vast wood. Hey, <laughs> fucking, I'm so jacked. Yo, if plants made me jacked, I'd work on my garden way more meticulously. Joraga bard. That's definitely like somebody real, right? Like that's like the artist or his friend or something. Oh, it's Vulcan Baga. How about that? Sunspring Expedition. I want to go there, man. I want to hang out with those people. Upside Down Serpent. We got Christopher Moeller. Fucking Pog. Core Outfitter. We got that Spell Pierce. Gatekeeper of Malakir. Man, that's dope. See, that's the kind of rip that I want to get. You know what I mean? Like, it's not huge, but it's like, you know, his chest is all filled out, and he's got, like, this cool shape to his arms and shit. That's the kind of rip that I want to get. You know what I'm saying? Mark of Mutiny. This is the Sphinx. The Sphinx is mutinous. Hey, it's our boy, Hedron Clay. <laughs> I fucking love this Hedron. And nobody touched my... <gasps> Did you look at my Hedron? Hey, we got the Day of Judgment. Oh, nice little board ripe right there. Destroy all creatures. Destroy all fucking creatures. Spell Pierce is Pog. Oh, I'll take a Spell Pierce. I'll take a Pog-ass Spell Pierce. Hey, should I sleeve that? Sleeve that Spell Pierce? Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller plays... And it only costs one? That's like a better quench. Well, I guess quench is a little bit more... Uh, uh, less specific, but hey, why not? Sleeve it. Sleeve the crab, that's right. Oh, gotta sleeve the crab. What are we doing over here? We're fucking, fucking dicking around and... <sighs> not even sleeving the crabs over here. It's, what the fuck is my problem? Gotta sleeve the crabs. Gotta sleeve them. All right, day of judgment. Nice. Boom. Done. Perfect. Perfect! The crab... Oh, you want to you want to name the crab? Uh, I don't know. Let's look at him. Look at his face. Uh, Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> it looks like a Gerald. He's got kind of like a like a Gerald vibe. <laughs> My name is Gerald, and I love the hedrons. I am looking inside, and <gasps> this is a good hedron. <laughs> Great vintage. Smells nutty. Gerald! Gerald the crab. All right. You got adventuring gear. Got that cell sword. Oh, Vastward Gorger. Dude, nice. You think he's going to gorge on them? Sorry, boys. Little expedition map. Got the sacrificers. Sacri sacrifice sanctifiers. Shut up. Turn timber grove. I got a foil of that, so I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Living Tsunami is such a cool idea. Quest for the Grave Lord. Is that... I mean... I don't know what's happening here. I have no fucking clue what's happening here. Quest for the Pure Flame. Very nice. And What is this? Eternity Vessel. We got a Mythic here. Is Eternity Vessel a hit? That's a Mythic, boy. That's a Mythic. Six drop. Artifact. Eternity Vessel enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it with X is your life total. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may have your life total become the number of charge counters on Eternity Vessel. What? Oh. 99 cents. I guess I don't care then. It's a pretty cool effect, though. I will admit that. Pretty cool effect. And cool art. Kind of looks like a, a plunger. It's like plunging the sky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the sky's all clogged up with dookie. And he's just like, boop, boop. All right, two more. <laughs> All right. Ah. 
Oh, here we go. The cell sword, the gorger, the barrage, nimbus wings. Those are fucking cool. I could do with some nimbus wings myself. The expedition, the other expedition, the blessing. We got the upside down. Oh, dude, fucking vampire nighthawk. Yo, he's fucking sick, dude. Yo, I know vampire nighthawk. Fucking, we got, the, he's a three drop flyer with death touch and lifelink. I mean, that's fucking sick, dude. What a great fucking card. Love this card. Nighthawk kicks ass. It's just a, it's just good. Like, it's just a good card. Love it. Inferno Trap. Fucking turtle. Wow, I really love that they, like, painted the moment right before they fucking fried. <laughs> it's just completely unknowing. And that turtle's like, I got him. <laughs> I got him. All right. Ravenous Trap. Very cool. Cyril Vanderhagen. Man, what a fucking name. Halo Hunter. Dun, 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 dun. That's the face you make when, like, you already poured the bowl of cereal and you look in the fridge and there's no milk. That is, like, absolutely, like, this guy's presence right here. Just, <laughs> like, that's what's going on. Uh, it's a five drop, six three. He's got Intimidate. This creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. When Halo Hunter enters the battlefield, destroy target angel. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Love that boy. I gotta say, I love that boy. Doesn't kill Bane Slayer. Bummer, dude. Alright, one more pack and then we're gonna do some super chats. Ugh. Oh, there's there's nothing more like emasculating than like pouring the cereal back in the fucking box and it's like ugh now it's all stale. Highland Berserker, that's a fucking sick beard. I'm not gonna lie. We got that Ior Ruin expedition. I I love the expeditions because it's like oh they found it. There it is. They found it. They're all they all end so happily. A magma rift. A little far guide. More like fart guy to me, right? Nice. Cancel. We got bog tatters. I have no idea what's happening in this card, but it's cool. Merfolk Sea Stalkers. It's like a burning man underwater. Vampire Hex Mage. Brave the Elements. Another mythic. We got Eldrazi Monument. How's that for a mythic, huh? I don't even know if that's good. Five drop. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Have flying and are indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. If you can't, sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's a ding, ding, ding. Okay, fine. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. I could use that in my night deck, I guess. Especially if I had a worthy night out and I was just creating extra knights to sack. That would be great. Huh. Interesting. Great in token decks. Yeah, there we go. Flying and indestructible. That's fucking mean. I guess you would play that, like, when you're close to, like, game end. It's a little too off your game plan. Yeah, I get that. All right. Oh, wait, did I... Oh, I was going to do Super Chats. What the fuck am I doing? All right. Laughing Man. Ever think of getting MTG-looking cards made of the Grumps Gang? Great merch idea. Get your favorite MTG artist to make them. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we get, like... Like, that could get litigious. I don't, I don't know if I want to... It's a funny idea, uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd feel a little, I don't know. Uh, Tastefully Nerd, finally get to catch a stream on the new channel as it's new. I took place in a two in a double master's draft on Friday and won a sort of body and mind box topper. Nice. Congratulations on that. God, I would love to do a fucking sealed event or a draft event or something. I mean, come on. I miss it. I miss it. Uh, Michael Pfeffer. Uh, when is there going to be shuffling on this channel? I feel lied to. Uh, yeah, I know that is kind of the joke, isn't it? Like, there's there, there hasn't been any shuffling so far. Willie Brad. Oh, oh, Adrian Hoffman. Chickens are modern-day dinosaurs, which means dinosaur-shaped nuggets are made of real dinosaurs. Oh, interesting. I never really thought about that. Willie Brad. That Mox Opal and Sword of Fire were... Uh, ice and Fire, fire and Ice were rad, dude. Still got eight VIPs left. Hope your luck rubs off on me. 
let's all just rub off together. <laughs> hey, man, good luck on those. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping you get some good luck, too. Uh, Kai White, hi, I'm out of money, so sorry I'm not donating a lot, but I have to ask. Uh, please, don't don't worry about it. The, the fact that you're even here is, is, is more than enough. Will you play the Henry Stickman collection on Grumps? I recommend it so much. I've never heard of that. Um, I'll, I, I'd probably check that out. It is absolutely hilarious right up you and Dan's alley. I'll give it a shot. Uh, Pierre-Luc Rabitail. Uh, hey, Aaron, you made me download MTG Arena again, and what do you think of a mono blue merfolk deck? I would love to try that. I really love the concept of tribal, um, and uh, uh, like mono mono stuff is really interesting to me too. I don't know. I like stuff when there's like a big level of consistency. You know what I mean? Um, KP, do you like crab? Uh, me too. Uh, Dan Rose, just got first place in a Fall Guys game. You and Dan playing when? Uh, yeah, I've heard people talking about this. I have no idea what it is, so I really got to check it out. Uh, Jade Sky, just wanted to say hi. Me and my cat are big fans. Hey, man, say hi to your cat, and hi to you. Um, Derek Roberts, are these other people's boxes? Also, what camera are you using? Also, Eldrazi Monument is cool. Uh, no, these are my boxes, um, just my personal collection. Um, I'm using my iPhone. This is my iPhone. Uh, when I get into the office and have a real setup, I am probably going to use an, uh, a Sony A6000 for the card opening. It's got very fast uh, autofocus. And if that doesn't work out, I'm thinking of a Sony ZV-1 that also has really quick autofocusing. Um, Sam Thrasher, favorite MTG content creators? Um, I, I watch, like, a lot of them now. Um, favorites? I mean, Talarian is, is like, probably the easiest to watch. Um, very, like, well-produced videos. Um, I've been watching a lot more PK. Uh, um, who else? Merchant, if I want to watch, like, uh, actual games being played. Um, uh, yeah, that, those are the main ones, I think. Um, all right. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep it going, baby. Yeah, there's so many other MTG, like, I really gotta, I really only watch the stuff that, like, my recommended feed me, you know what I mean? Like, the algorithm, so I, I gotta start, like, branching out, finding new, new people. All right, we got Kabira Crossroads, we got, uh, Hagra Crocodile, we got Mold Shambler. That poor creature. He's got kind of a doofy nose, you know what I mean? The the idea of like the the tusks being antlers is so fucking cool. Good job, Carl Kapinski. Core cartographer. Cart cartographer. We got Harrow. Dude, the Hedron Crab would be flipping his shit at this. He'd be like, oh my god, look at those fucking hedrons. Molten Ravenger. Got that beast hunt. Got Christopher Moeller, Pog. We got Demolish. Very cool. Core Aeronaut. Little Sea Stalkers. Oops, that's an uncommon. Quest for the Holy Relic. And what do we got here? Oh, fuck! Fuck! Yo, we got a fucking... We got a fucking goddamn fetch land right here. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. What's it got? Simic fetch land. I think this is the most valuable fetch land there is. I mean, come on. That's fucking... Oh, Amazing. Yes. And we got a foil. Turn Timber Ranger. That's a foil rare right there, dude. We got a fucking five drop, two, two. Whenever Turn Timber Ranger or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a two, two green wolf token creator onto the battlefield. If you do put a one, one counter on Turn Timber. That's not bad either. Wow. Okay. Great. Woof. Yikes. Yikes. That was a great fucking pack. Great pack right there. Oh, beautiful. Good foiling. Get that misty rainforest. Ugh. Oh, this is a fun set, man. Really neat cards. All right. Little double ding. If you make all your creatures allies, turn Timber Ranger goes infinite. What? Whenever Timber Ranger, another ally enters the battlefield, you may put it in. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you have some kind of uh, enchantment or whatever that makes everybody an ally. Nice. That's pretty dope. Oh, changelings. Yeah. That's, the, wow, that's interesting. Sky Ruin Drake. That's a long fucking, dr look at his fucking, he's like, dude, I, my neck is so long, like, I'm sick, I gotta go to a chiropractor. And Meyer Blight, little Slaughter Cry, <laughs> little Jaraga, Jaraga, Upside Down Boy, all right, get these uncommons going. Oh my fucking god, dude, oh my fucking god. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, a little Arid Mesa. Dude, I just I just bought a single of Arid Mesa the other day. It's just, I fucked up. Should have just waited for this. Damn, dude. Ugh. Gorgeous. Awesome. Fetch lands up the wazoo. I'll take it. We've got three fetch lands so far. We're not even halfway through the fucking box. Fantastic. Yeah, I guess two Arid Mesa is better than one. I just only ordered one because it's a commander deck. I can only have one of each card, you know? Um, but now that I got two, it's like, fuck it. Got the Berserker, the gear. Yeah, I think we've seen all these commons by now. Ooh, the Hookmaster. Love that pose. Very intense. Got the GOP'd. Nissus Chosen. <laughs> she chose me because I look just like her. It's like looking into a mirror. We got a little Arrow Volley Trap. And the J Jwar Isle Refuge does not really look like a refuge, to be honest. Looks pretty dangerous. Got that pure flame. And what's this? An archive trap. Five drop. If an opponent searches his or her library this turn, you may put zero, pay zero rather than pay archive traps mana cost. Target opponent puts the top 13 cards. Of Ooh, damn mill. Yo. That's vicious. All right. Fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah, not too bad. 750. All right. I I I got good luck with these mill cards, man. I'll tell you what. I got I got to make a mill deck. I I hate it, but I mean, I got the cards for it. Why not? One mulch is better than two arid maces. That's fucking right, Casey Belcher. That's right. Yes. All right. Crossroads, a little crocodile. Yeah, we've seen all these. We've seen all the lethargy trap, though. This is new. <sighs> Lethargy, whatever. Blood seeker, goblin bushwhacker. There are no bushes and no whacking to be found. I feel lied to. Got that hedron scrambler. Best friend of hedron crab. Marsh casualties. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> I guess you got caught in the vines, bro. Yeah, bro. Don't even worry about it, bro. Got a Hellfire Mongrel. <laughs> he looks like he's about to explode. Trailblazer's Boots. And the Sphinx of the Jawar Isle. See, if that's living there, I don't think it's a refuge at all, dude. I don't think it's a refuge at all. Six drop, five, five, Flying Shroud. You may look at the top card of your library. That's pretty nice. That's actually really nice. All right. And a forest and an illusion. Check Donos. Schwa? We got uh, B Lockdown. Thank you. I would suggest watching Legend VD. He breaks down all his plays in a comic voice and uses a variety of different decks. Okay. Um, Gabriel Martinez. Thank you for whatever currency that is. CRC. Um, Willie Brad. Thank you. Would you do the Ravnica Shockland Challenge? Uh, you know, I actually did that off camera. I got myself a allegiance and a guild, and I got close. Got very close. I think I was missing two shock lands. Um, but if you would like me to do it, I will do it. I love the Ravnica block, or the it's not even a block. It's just Ravnica allegiance and guilds of Ravnica. But yeah, I'd love to if you want to see it. A single petal. Is there a way to make a magical girl card deck set? Oh, that's interesting. I wonder. Leave the boots. What's going on with the boots? Is this a good card? Trailblazer's boots. Two drop. Equipped creature has non-basic land block. It's unblockable as long as defending player controls a non-basic land. Whoa. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that shit. 
I'm going to go ahead and sleep that shit out right now. Okay. All right, Vines of Vastwood. Okay, I don't know why I read that out before it was seen on the screen. We got Paralyzing Grasp. Little pi Oh, dude. Who doesn't want to be friends with this guy? Look at him. Look at how fucking enchanting this dude is. 2-4. They're stubborn and unpredictable. Stubborn. They inspire the plains nomads' most colorful curses. I mean, look at how fucking fancy his hair is. All right. We got that Sanctifiers again, pouring shit on a thing. Goblin Shortcutter. <laughs> and this is the shortcut over here. You got that Lethargy Trap, that Undo. Merfolk Wayfinder. Another Vampire Nighthawk. Fuck yeah. Trap Maker Snare. This is actually um, The Odd One's Out. This is just like his favorite card. Every time he sees it, he's like, dude, fuck yeah, Vampire Nighthawk. I'm <laughs> like, hell yeah, dude. And Electropotence. That's what happens when you zap your dick. Three. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay three. If you do, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Ooh, that's 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 nice. Maybe not a um maybe not a not, a, not the best card, but it's a fucking fun card. Oh, what do we got here? Little Gruel Draws Vampire. Oh, nice. We got that fucking vampire for that's I'm I'm happy with that. Cause she's fucking badass. She's about ready to pounce, bro. About ready to pounce, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, don't even worry about it, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind over here, dude. These, these, these definitely, like, I mean, how long has this been going now? Like, uh, two hours? I, I always lose my mind around the two-hour mark. And we're only halfway done through the Zendikar box. Let's fucking do it! Let's fucking do it! Disfigure. Let, do, oh, man. You just want to climb right... Doesn't it look, like, squishy and nice in there, though? You know? It's like... All right. <laughs> Maybe that's gross. Surikar, man, these are all new. I haven't seen these. Surikar Marauder. <laughs> it looks like he's like presenting to you. He's like, he's like welcome! <laughs> Look around! Expedition map, little bog tatters, a little demolish, a relic. Oh my god, vampire's bite. Woof, scandalous. <gasps> it's my boy! Oh! Oh my god! Christopher Muller! Dude, dude, dude. They wouldn't make this card anymore. That that is that is scandaliso. Oh, is the map a hit? I thought it was because okay, cool. Woo! Vampire's bite. Come on. All right, we got that shrine. Hagra diabolist. Little quest for whatever. I guess serves you. Hey, Nissa. She looks so confused. She's like, "Is this my staff? Did did I take my roommate's staff?" Four drop. She comes out with two loyalty. Plus one, search your library for a card named Nissa's Chosen and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Oh, that's really interesting. A one card tutor. Uh, plus one, you gain two life for each elf you control. Okay. Um, and then minus seven, search your library for any number of elf creature cards and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Whoa! That's a, that's a ridiculous... Uh, that's a ridiculous... Um, schmoogity doogity racist Nissa? <laughs> what? Is she racist in the story? Oh no, can I not can I not stand Nissa? Is she problematic? This uh fictional character. <laughs> uh. She was at first. I see. Cool. Got her ass beat. <laughs> well, yeah. That's 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 usually what racists deserve there. Okay, into the royal. Got a little bold defense, the butthole slide. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks like a butthole! Soaring sea cliff, that hook master, that survivalist. Yeah, we've seen all these, man. We've seen all these. Get to the good stuff. Core aeronaut, how I'm trying to be. Landbind ritual. Love that. Love, like, like ritual art like this. So cool. Oh my god, nice fucking hit. We got Oracle of Maldaya over here. 
That's a four drop, two, two. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Um, ridiculous, dude. Re fucking ridiculous. Awesome. Three fetch lands and an Oracle of Moldaya. That's awesome. Holy shit, dude. Nicely done, this box. I don't even care if we don't pull that fucking treasure lotus or whatever now. Nice. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Go home, the box you're drunk. Give me your keys, box. Ah. Okay. Got that comfy mouth goo. Oh, Oron Reef Recluse. Nice. New little card right there. That Beast Hunt. That got Christopher Muller. Fucking pog as hell. Cancel. River Boa. It's just a fucking snake, dude. Oh, and it's like almost indestructible. That's kind of nice. Quest for the Gem Blades. Did they find him? Oh, maybe the Gem Blades one didn't, uh, didn't work out. Aquam Refuge, and what do we got here? That Hellkite Charger. Six drop, five five, Flying Haze. Whenever Hellkite, Hellkite Charger attacks, you may pay seven. If you do untap all attacking creatures, and after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Too expensive for my tastes. Oh, get it away. Stinker? <laughs> you fucking mean to these cards, dude. Whoa, stinker. <laughs> it is too expensive. But it is, it's expensive for an ability that basically, like, stops the game. I guess. Savage Vent Maw. All right. Teetering Peaks. Those are going to fall. That's, that's cars, dude. This is straight up cars. You know what I'm saying? That's, um, Radiator Springs. Slaughter Cry, a little Beast Hunt, a little Core Outfitter, nice, little Size Tiger. Vampire's Bite is so scandalous, dude. Come on. Uh, Goblin Ruin Blaster. Got Luke Skywalker. A little Green Weaver Druid. Damn. Is she, like, putting stuff in or sucking stuff out? Add, you can tap her to add two mana to your mana pool. That's pretty good. And Oron R Reef, the Vast Wood. There was there was two different land cycles in this for the rares. Uh, put a one-one counter on each green creature that enters the battlefield this turn. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I gotta straighten those common stacks. Not bad. Great card, not expensive. Hey man, you know what? If it's a great card, it's playable. That's fine. This is a game after all. I'm not just looking for value. Well, I guess I'm looking for value, but in the game. So that would be value, but it's a different kind of value. I'm not just looking for money value. I'm looking for play value, too. Got that Glade heart, dude. Nice. Do you think he's, like, stomping to the beat? Like, he's listening to Adele? He's like... That's what he's doing with his little foot right there. Oh, hello. Shatter Skull Giant. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious this dude's mad. Uh, all right, all right. Chaff. Woodcrasher. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I fucking love being a woodcrasher. You got that refuge, core duelist, and a scoot mob. <laughs> Look at all those scoots, dude. <laughs> wow, man. Fucking scoot as hell. We got the fucking one drop. This is a one one at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control five or more lands, put four one one counters on Scoot Mob. Oh my god. Dude, Scoot Mob gets huge. Looty Scooty. <laughs> Survival rule 781. There are always more Scoot Bugs. <laughs> Goblin Shortcutter. Dude, I love the Scoot Mob, dude. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the scoots. Oh, my God. I didn't realize that entire mountain was covered in scoots. Oh, man. I love these little scoots. I just want to pet them. I just want to pet the scoots. Oh, boy. I want to make a scoot mob deck. Just fucking centered around scoot mobs. Just tutor the scoots. Toot the scoots. <laughs> 
And then get those lands down. <laughs> Scooting right into the sleeve, dude. We're getting some scoots over here. Yo, if, if the only thing I get now from, from now until the end is a bunch of scoots, I'm fine. Journey to nowhere. That's fucking cool. All right. Okay, okay. Yo, whoa, hello. Spell pierce. That's a that's a that's a sleever. And okay, now we're at the uncommons. Got that Tajuru Archer. Little Sajiri and Devout Lightcaster. Hello. I'm casting light. Three white. Okay. Two two. Protection from black. When devout lightcaster enters the battlefield, exile target black permanent. Seems like an okay like sideboard. Sideboard action going on there. Anyone do ally decks? I don't know. I don't know, really. You better scoot! <laughs> when that scoot comes around, you need a little scoot. Oh, we got a little John Avon mountain there? Look at that. Beautiful. Can always appreciate art by John Avon. Love it. He's a good boy. I don't know anything about John Avon. Could be a fucking serial murderer and I wouldn't. I'm sure he's not. I'm just making a joke. All right. Scoot and Scred! That's a perfect combo right there. Scoot and Scred? Come on, man. Nothing better than Scred. All right, keep it going. Where's my Scoots at? Got a little Machete. Got a little Footing. Got a little Primal Bellow. Yeah! Wow, he's huge. Kabira Evangel. Ev -ev 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 Evangel again. And what do we got here? Ravenous Trap. Cool foiling. I like how the goo is foiled. That's nice. We haven't uh, haven't gotten a a, a a treasure yet. Oh, I'm out of sleeves. I gotta go grab some more. Let me go. Let me go grab some more sleeves. Uh, uh, grab them sleeves. So grab them sleeves, baby. Get my sleeves out. <laughs> I'm going sleeve nuts over here. Ah. Uh. New bag of sleeves. Throw the old bag away. Who needs it? Plastic? The cat's gonna eat it, dude. Alright. Sleep this bad boy. Kabira Evangel. 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 Clifton Knight! What the fuck? Hey, Aaron, you and Danny have helped me manage my stress in a huge way. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Clifton Knight. Fuck. Y'all are awesome! Stop it. Stop being so awesome. But somebody, somebody in the chat say that suck is You know what that? You know what the the tragedy is? Like pr presuming that his his neck is like so straight, he actually couldn't suck his own dick because it 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 wouldn't be able to like bend down. He'd be like, oh, I can see it, but I can't reach it. Spire barrage, so fucking cool. Look at that, so epic. Steve Argyle, nice, nicely done. Little Nimbus wings. All right, Inferno trap. Got that river boa, we got that land by original. What we got here? Celestial mantle. Six drop. God, that fucking armor. Jesus. Steve Argyle, once again. Enchant creature gets th plus three plus three whenever enchanted creature deals combat to a player. Double its controller's life total. What? What? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous schmickulous, dude. All right, that's a mini hit. All right, you know what? I'll take a mini hit. Fuck it, I'll take a mini hit. You know what I'm waiting for, though? I'm waiting for that Lotus. We're on the last stack, baby. We're on the last stack. You know what? I'll, I should probably do some super chats, huh? How about that? Oddgrim, like Zoing Scoob, my boss is a dick. Sorry, Oddgrim. Um, laughing Man, what's your favorite childhood movies? Mine are Flight of the Navigator. Mine too. Willow and Battery's not included. Flight of the Navigator. Dude, there's a Hollywood auction going right now. And they have the ship. They have the maquette of the ship with the fucking with each frame of the staircase coming down as as little miniatures. Um for sale. But it's like fucking ten grand or something. So it's like, uh no. No thank you. But the the fact that that's real and like for sale, it's so cool. Love Flight of the Navigator, dude. Um uh, KP, Hellkite Charger is a personal pet card of mine. Only four printings, and I have one of each to make my playset. Very nice. You know, that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Um, just picking your favorite cards. 
It's like, you can, I, I always hate playing the meta decks. It's just no fun to me. It's like, I want to I create a deck that's strange and stupid. Um, Waffle Fries. Thoughts on how to safely play MTG in person? Um, no, I don't have any thoughts. I haven't done it at all. <laughs> I'm scared. Gabriel Martinez. If you have nine commons in a pack, you'll have a foil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not... I'm not fucking counting them, though. Um, Tastefully Nerd, I made a custom card based on this channel. The link is in the normal chat because Super isn't letting me send it. Thanks for the inspiration. Oh, shit. That's like 14 minutes ago, though. I'm not going to fit. Hey, uh, Tastefully Nerd, play, post that link again um, real quick if you're still here. I'll, I'll check it out. Check it out right now. The meta decks are all ramp. Yeah. He killed me with that voice. What, the fucking shaggy voice? Like, Scoob! Like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really an impressionist, but I, uh... Oh, just did. Um... Where did I... Where's the link? I cannot find it. I might have links, like, banned or something. Oh, I do. I have, I have links... I have links muted. Um, fuck. Yeah, yeah. So, so people don't spam, like, like, ads or whatever. So, like, bots don't come in and spam ads. I have, I have, uh, I have, uh, HTTP muted or whatever. Sorry. Um, send me it on Twitter? Twitter? Send it to me on Twitter. I'll go check it out right now. Do you have Twitter? Send it on Twitter. I'll go check my mentions. Uh, at Egoraptor. Latest. Okie doke. Let me just check that real quick. Sorry, me and my friend uh, Tastefully Nerd over here, we're just having a, having a sidebar. So, uh, yeah. Ain't no big thing. Um, all right, I'll I'll do some more super chats in the meantime. Uh, okay, where was I? Lady Cricket, I would enjoy seeing you and Dan deck build and play together on this channel. More friends equals more fun in MTG. Yeah, maybe I'd love to get Dan involved in this stuff. A single pedal. Is there a way to make a map? Oh, I already read that one. Shockland challenge. Got it. Cool. Um, Odd Grim, bro, you killed me with that voice. Thanks. New ringtone. Ah, come on. You flatter me. Uh, Spadizzler. Off meta. Budget legacy deck. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Check it on MTG Goldfish. I think you'd at least find it funny. I love that. I love Mr. Toad. Um, and that concept really makes me laugh. Uh, okay. Here we go. Legendary creature. Ego. Master Shuffler. Hey, come on. Love it. Uh, it's a one. Oh, I wish I could show it. Okay, Ego Master Shuffler. We got one blue and red. It's a 2-2 two -two with haste. Um, and uh, you can pay blue and a red and tap. You may choose a non-creature card you own from outside the game. Red oh, man, I can just fucking take the phone off and point it at the fucking screen. There we go. There he is. Ego Master Shuffler. Whenever you shuffle your library, Eagle, Ego gains hexproof until end of turn. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to save that. I might tweet that out later. Thank you for that, man. That's great. I'm going to leave that open. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get back to it. Would you be blue-red? Um, yeah, I do. You know, I love Is It. I love Is It. Um, I, have, I have a couple Is It decks that I really love. I have a Real the Everwise standard deck that I really enjoy. All right, let's get some fucking... Dan's got... Dan doesn't have a whole lot of... Uh, he, he, all his decks are like mono. He doesn't have a whole lot of mixed decks. But when he does, he has fucking... He has true duels, and I hate it. I, I hate his true duels. Um, oh, damn, Giant Scorpion. That's new for me. It's fucking gorgeous rendering there. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. 
Hagridiabolist. Little geyser glider. Whoa. Frank lost my name. Gem blades and Pyromancer Ascension once again. Wow. All right. It, it always weirds me out when I get fucking doubles in a box. You know what I mean? It's like, has anyone has anyone ever, like, cracked a box, okay, and it had, like, three mana drains in it or something? You know, like, something, it's like, whoa. Because <laughs> whenever you get, like, whenever you get, like, double rares, it's just kind of like, it's always, like, a bulk rare. Like a, It's like, ah, this fucking sucks. I don't want this. Oh, please open. Please open. Oh. There we go. Sometimes the packs just don't cooperate. I had a draft where I opened three of the same rare. Wow. Wow. I've had a lot of box Japanese war with three double mythics. Wow, jeez. That's fucking nice. I do have a Japanese War of the Spark box that I'm going to open pretty soon. Mind Sludge. Yuck. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to be out of there. Conqueror's Pledge. We got a five drop with a kicker. Uh, put six 1-1 one, one white course creature tokens onto the battlefield. If Conqueror's Pledge was kicked, put 12 of those tokens onto the battlefield instead. Okay. That doesn't seem super valuable. Oh, and we got a fucking shiny-ass... Comfy ass mouth. Well, blah, 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 blah. all right. Got a pack of M twenty one with a showcase Ugin and a foil Ugin behind it. Wow. Damn, you guys got y'all got luck. Like, talk about luck. All right. Crack the box of Dragon's Maze with three Voice of Resurgence, one was foil. I'm probably the only one who made money on that set. <laughs> you know, I do have a Dragon's Maze box. I have that whole block. I've, I've, I've got three boxes, um, that whole block. I was thinking of... Because, you know, it's like, I don't really... When it comes down to it, I don't really care about value. I just care about, like, you know, enjoying the cards and flipping through them and looking at the art and stuff. But, uh, ooh, Frontier Guide. I love, I love, I love when, like... Elven people are like in trees and stuff. It's so cool. They look so poised. Seagate Lore Master. Draw a card for each ally you control. Oh, wow. Ally deck. Nice. Um, so I was thinking of doing that whole block, you know? Um, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute this Ban Uro guy because fuck that shit. Uh, boom, done. Thanks, bro. Uh, Seagate Lore Master. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I like just I just like flipping through the cards. You know, like it's like I know those none of those cards are worth a shit, but it's just fun. Ah, here we go. It's like, what am I gonna do? What the fuck, am I gonna do about Uro? You think I'm gonna? You think I have power at Watsi and I'm gonna ban Uro? <laughs> mindless Null, dude. Well, he's kind of eyeless. He's not mindless. Uh, expedition. Come on, give me, give me a motherfucking treasure, man. Sadistic sacrament. All right. Three, three black, sorcery with a kicker. Search target player's library for up to three cards. Exile, and then that player shuffles his or library of sadistic sacrament was kicked. Said search that player's library for up to fifteen cards. Woof, jeez. That's 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 not so good. That's not so bad. That's what I mean to say. I was going to say not so good, but it's not so bad. You just be like, oh, do you have um, three Narsets in there? Well, they're, they're done. Bye. See ya. Band card. Huh. All right. I did not hit any Force of Wills on the VIP packs. Sorry about that. I did hit a Mana Crypt, though. Did hit a Mana Crypt. It was very... Very jazzed about that. Valakut! The Molten Pinnacle! Uh, enters the battlefield tapped. When a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have Valakut! The Molten Pinnacle deal three damage to target creature or player. And you can tap for red. Ooh, that's a hit. Ooh, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Man, I'll take it. I'll take a hit. Valakut! Oh, 23. Damn. 
All right, fuck. Little Valakut. Nice art. Dude, those dudes are fucked. Uh, why are they walking up to an erupting volcano? They're fucked. Jesus. Original Field of the Dead. Oh, interesting, yeah. I'll take a hit after you. <laughs> oh, okie doke. We got that long neck Drake that can suck its own dick. We got that stupefied burst lightning. I <laughs> love getting bursting. <laughs> All right. I'm having too much fun here. Ooh, this is pretty. Colony gem. That's, that's really pretty. Four drop when colony gem enters the battlefield. Return two lanes you control the owner's hand. Put two men of any one color in your mana pool. Oh, that's very strange. I got that trap, we got the druid, and what do we got here? Sphinx of Lost Truths. Are the Sphinx ever worth anything? It's a five drop, three five with a kicker. Flying, when Sphinx of Lost Truths enters the battlefield, draw three cards. When it, If it wasn't kicked, discard three cards. Uh, okay. Done, done, done. A little Vatacoot. Consecration Sphinx. $30, okay. I always feel like when I pull a Sphinx, it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> dragons of Darkir. I would love to. I did cons a little while ago, and uh, would love to do dragons. Does dragons have fetch lands as well? Because if so, then I'd definitely open it. All right. Yeah, we've, we've busted through all these commons pretty much. A little Blazing Torch. Yeah, but they're from the old set. Ally fetch lands. Okay. Uh, CC Aerialist. We got that refuge. And what do we got? Summoning trap. What do you think of that? Six drop. Instant trap. If a creature spell you cast this turn was countered by a spell or ability in opponent control, you may pay zero rather than paying the mana cost. Look at the top seven cards of the library. You may put a creature card from them there onto the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of the library in any order. Interesting. Seems very, very situational. Ally fetches are in cons. Wait, so what's the difference between an enemy fetch and an ally fetch? Is it just the different color combos? I mean, that's that's how new I am to this. I hear enemy fetch lands, and I just think fetch lands, but I guess ally fetch lands are different. Little combo, okay. Color pairing. Oh, it means they're next to each other on the pie. I see. Okay. I get it. Interesting. Got it. Very nice. Very nice. Got some cool commons going. Let's go to those uncommons. Pitfall Trap. Little Merfolk Wayfinder. Mind Sledge. And what do we got here? Lol Mage Mentor. Lol Mage Mentor. A three drap. Rude two two. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may put a one one blue Merfolk creature token onto the battlefield. Tap seven untapped merfolk you control. That's super situational. Oh, we got a we got a foil. Baloth Woodcrasher. <laughs> I love being a Baloth. All right. Great, man. Hey, we're getting down to the last three packs. I, I'm not I'm I'm thinking we're not getting the hidden treasure on this on this run, but we did get some fucking sick fetches. I'm just gonna say that right now. We got some pretty good fetches. We got that misty. Uh, Rainforest, we got that Arid Mesa, and we got that Scalding Tarn. So, pretty good. And we got that uh, Oracle of Moldiah. Very nice. Uh, uh, did we get a Foil Rare? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got that um, Timber, t Timber, Timber, Timber Boy. Whatever the fuck it's called. Timber, Timber, Timbity Dim Dim Tim. All right. And then, the, ooh, the boots. Nice. Sleeve the boots. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Whoa! Fetch number four. We're getting the marsh flats, baby. Look at that. Oh fuck! All right, cool, done, easy, and we got a foil seismic shutter. And eh, who cares? Whoo, baby! Gosh, yo, the fetches are flowing like wine, dude. Nice, excelente. Don't don't slide down on me, dude. Don't slide down on me. Woof, man. Can I make it all five? I've got one booster pack left, so 
Uh, we shall see. <laughs> if we can get the fifth fetch land in there in the, in the last pack. I would prefer a Lotus, though. <laughs> oh, no, we got two packs left. What am I thinking? I got two packs. Okay. We got double the chances to get that fifth one. All right. Blade Tusk Boar. Little Piranha Marsh. Okay, come on, come on. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. A little Pitfall Trap. Yes. Unstable Footing. Frontier Guide. And Beast Master Ascension. That's a lot of tigers. Three. Whenever a creature you control attacks, you may put a quest counter on Beastmaster Ascension. As long as Beastmaster Ascension has seven or more quest counters on it, creatures you control get plus five, plus five. Wow. That's, uh, that's vicious. And I'll take it. <laughs> I would absolutely smash. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Hey, we're getting some great pulls out of this. Out of this day in general, man. Great fucking pulls. All right, last one. Here we go. Little ruinous minotaur. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, look at this. This is the first time I've pulled that. It's a fucking, what is it, Andros? Huh. So, Andros, you show your true form. And fifth fetch. Oh, Goblin Guide. We got the... F oh, is Expedition Map after this? <laughs> wow. Ending it with a Goblin Guide. Holy shit. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Is that a ding, ding, ding? Is that, is that a good hit? A Goblin Guide? I mean, it is a one-drop 2-2, two -two, but... <laughs> Very nice. Interesting. Oh, everyone called it, huh? Wow. All right, let's look over what we got here. We got that guide. We got that Beastmaster. We got two boots. Fucking four fetches. One of them Marsh Flats. Uh, yeah, we got Valakut, baby. A little sadistic. People were happy about that one. I should throw that in the commons. Two Pyromaster Ascensions. We got the Mini Hit and Celestial Mantle. Ravenous Trap. I'll keep that there. Spell Pierce, we got two of those. Let me put that over here. We got the Scoot Mob, the most important card that nobody, nothing matters. We got the Scoot Mob, can single handedly destroy anybody. We got Oron Reef, um, Oracle of Moldiah, forgot about that. We got the Nissa, little racist Nissa right there. We got that second Trailblazer Blute. So we got the fucking Arid Mesa, sick as hell. This was the Foil Rare, Turn Timber Ranger, worth fucking nothing. Misty Rainforest, most valuable fucking card in the entire set. Very nice. That Eldrazi Monument. I mean, look at this. So much value in this box, dude. This is great. Scalding Tarn. Got that Blood Chief. Got Sorin. Wow. Unreal. Great box. Didn't get a Lotus, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I don't really have, like, a... Like a Bonus lined up for this? Well, actually, you know, I have, think I have two... I think I might have two, two floating packs. I'm not sure what they are. And for those of you who weren't here for the... Um, for the uh, VIPs, uh, it was pretty ridiculous. Um, oh, how many... How many Geralds? Uh, we had... We had a, I think we had three Geralds? I sleeved the Geralds. So we got one Gerald... Um, two Geralds, and did I, search? maybe we only had two Geralds, no, we had three, we definitely had three, I didn't sleeve the third, I guess, like a fucking fool, that's so typical of me not to sleeve the Gerald, oh, 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 no, maybe it was only two, Uh, yeah, yeah. I cannot find a third Gerald. All right. Is Gerald a boy or a girl? A girl, obviously. Girl named Gerald? Love her. All right, for those of you who weren't here for VIP, let's go over that real quick. We got the hammer. We got fucking Urza. Sword of Fire and Ice. Fucking give me a break. 
Give me a break. Stone Hewer Giant, definitely going to use that. Regular Cyclonic, we got the Goblin Guide in the Expedition map, hilarious. Metamorphose, Blood Moon, Cyclonic Rift, Mox Opal. I mean, jeez, Louise. Everybody's favorite, the Blade Splat. The chat went nuts for this one. Got that crop rotation, that full art. Ah, oh, come on. Versus mine, the Monolith. Exploration. The whatever that is. That fucking recruiter. Fatal push. Batter skull. I, it's just I, 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 uh, 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 like it's like what the fuck, dude. Woof, boy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so as a little bonus, I think I got like two packs. And they, they, aren't, they aren't particularly interesting, I don't think. Yeah, I got Core 2021 and Return to Ravnica. So let's, let's do a quick little... Why not? Fuck it. Why not? What do we got? Griffin, Sweetwater. Oh my god, fucking Foil Rare right there. Maze Mind Tome. And we got the Temple of Malady. Nice. Canopy Stalker, we got the Dryad, got the Twin Blade Assassins, and uh, Switch Response, Shock. Love the Shock art. I'm glad they changed it. The Kaladesh one felt a little specific. Walking Corpse, and the Capture Sphere. Let's just put these uh, uncommons over here. Wonderful. Wonderful. And how about a little Ravnica? How about that, huh? Oh, let me sleep. Oh, I'll sleep these later. A little Ravnica, how about that? Bellows Lizard. Ah, uh, dude, it's a fucking... Dude, it's a gently screaming lizard! What did I tell you, man? All the lizards are gently screaming! I'm telling you, dude, this is real! Alright, we got Dispel. <laughs> Horn Collar's Chant. Oh, that's... <laughs> Fucking poor guy. He really wants to pursue flying, but uh, not working out for him. Hey, Goblin Electromancer. Common Bond. Just a common bond? Psh, lame. Got that Shred Freak, that Search Warrant. Splatter Thug. That's Casey Jones. That's like straight up Casey Jones. That's all it is. Stealer of Secrets. Oh, she's about to steal those fucking secrets, dude. Shrieking Affliction. Little go gobbling ooze. <laughs> I love that name. Uh, Blood Fray Giant. And what do we got here? Azores Elocutors. Azores Elocutors. Three and whiter blue, whiter blue. Three, five at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a filibuster counter on Azores Elocut Elocutors. Then if Azores Elocutors is five or more filibuster counters, you win the game. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> All right. And a land. And a dragon. All right. Fun little bonus. Elocutors. Excuse me. Can I elocute your door? Um, now, before we go, I know that was the bonus, but there's a tiny mini bonus. Um, literally. So, um, went to Target. You know, and if they have, like, a collector booster or something, I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up and just crack it. Like, whatever. You know, if they got, like, a new, new like, bundle or whatever, I'll grab that. Just why not, right? And uh, right now, um, they have the... I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. They have the, the world's smallest magic decks. <laughs> these are, um... These are ridiculous. <laughs> like... They're just, it's it's Vraska and Jace, which I, I guess was a dual deck back in the day. Um, they're, 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 they're tiny. They're so tiny. Look at how, look at how small they are. Look at, compared to a, compared to a normal size card. <laughs> All right, now, this is, I just, I just want you to know. I want you to know. Uh, I've already opened Vraska. Okay, I've already opened the Vraska deck. <laughs> this is so fucking silly, dude. And um, I'm I I can't believe nobody.
told me, and you'll see it in a second. Hey, look, Death Hood Cobra. We pulled one of those. Got that geeky. I can't even hold them. They're so tiny, dude. They're so fucking tiny. This is ridiculous. Ah, I can't even hold. Like, I can't even fucking hold them. They're so. Uh, uh shit. Oh, where's the, where's the boy? Oh, pulled one of those too today too. Oh, Ron Reef Recluse. Look at that. Wonderful. Got that Oron Viper, Corpse Traders. I can't even, like, they're so small. The camera's like, what do you fuck? Oh, the Mold Shambler. Pulled one of those. Highway Robber. I need to put these down. I can't even fucking hold them. <laughs> oh, fucking huge. Yeah, what if I just, like, I, I just made, like, a fake booster pack, and I was like, wait, how, does, how is he so small? Or how is he so big? His fingers got so huge. Uh, Treasured Find, which is my favorite Magic the Gathering art of all time. Um, so, so fucking incredible. The Jason Chan. It's a digital art, so it's un, un... And what do we have here, folks? What do we have here? What the fuck do we have here? Um, I'm sorry. Is this a tiny tragic slip? Is this what we're... Is this what's happening? Is this what's happening right now? Hold on, hold on. Look at, look at how, look at, look at this, look at this, it's a tiny slip, come on, oh, look at the baby slip, oh, it's so wonderful, I almost want to like put the baby slip in the, you know what, I might do that, I might actually do that, put the little baby slip in there, are there under any other like ridiculous cards? Got the guild gate and the passage. I mean, you know, honestly, it's like it's neat that they made like dual decks and stuff, but I feel like if they're just gonna make tiny cards and like, you know, these aren't worth anything. They're just it's just a fun little novelty. And then you got the, the fucking lands. And another slip. <laughs> they they might as well have made like fucking lotuses and, and moxes and you know what I mean? Like, come on. Cause I'm not gonna like this isn't a great deck. You know what I mean? Like, you might as well make it a fucking awesome deck, so at least it's like, oh, at least I'll play with it. All right. How many tiny slips equals a regular slip? Uh, four, I think. I think it's I think it's half the size, because it looks pretty, like, exactly half. All right. Let me just throw that in there. Seal it up. And there we go. <laughs> what a wonderful combo. Love it. Love that. So wonderful. And let's check out Jace real quick. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. So fucking cute. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess it would be a quarter of the size. That makes sense. Let's open up this tiny little Jace deck. I, I am like not being delicate because it's like not like these worth anything. Okay. We got a little Jace. A little Crum Crum and Tamatan, Jace's Phantom. Oh, an Aether Figment. Wow, there's a lot of cards that we pulled today that are in this. What a, what a treat. Stealer of Secrets? Like, what the hell? <laughs> These are so cool. They're so cool. I, I, I just love, like, tiny stuff, you know? Except when it's my wiener. I don't want that to be tiny. Jace's in Look at that! It's fucking Andros! Dude, look at him! <laughs> so, Andros. Say, you show your tiny form. Remand, a little prohibit there, memory lapse. These are great. Uh, Thought Scour, we pulled that before. And the Merfolk Wayfinder. This is fantastic. Like, what fun. Future Sight, there you go. That's a valuable card, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a valuable card. And little, little, little islands. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, that's great, man. I love it. 
I love it. It's so cool, right? I just picked that up at Target. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. Adorable. Fucking adorable. And I got a tiny little tragic slip out of it. I'm still, I'm still, okay, so I might still be in the running to get that tragic slip art. Um, when the guy, if you were here last time and I talked about getting the tragic slip art, he, he, he said, asked for a lot. And I was like, I can't pay that. That's ridiculous. But then he was like, well, you know, give me an offer. And so I gave him an offer that was affordable for me. And he was like, okay, well, you know, first I'm going to see if I can trade it. And then if I can't, then I'll sell it to you. So I might own the original tragic slip art, which is very, very exciting. <laughs> very exciting for me. Um, so these, uh, these, these magic cards, they're called World Smallest. And they were in, like, they were at Target. I, I found them at Target. And they were in, like, the card section, you know, where they sell, like, Pokemon cards and baseball cards and magic cards. Um, so, yeah. So if, if I get the original Tragic Slip art, then I will have Tiny Slip, Regular Slip, and then Giant Slip. And that's just going to be... That's just going to be fantastic. So I, you know, I don't know if I can if I can handle that. All right, let's go through the last super chats and then we'll call it a day, huh? Um, uh, oh, where does it start? All right, attack the dodo. I once had a sealed event where I opened three pairs of rares and was almost disqualified because my first opponent thought I cheated and called a judge. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> cheated and called what the fuck you have three fucking nisses <laughs> that's awesome uh willie brad you better believe i want to see you do a shock challenge i'll do it on my channel and i'll tweet my numbers at you let's duel ego factor willie b thanks man uh yeah man show me show me your shock challenge and i'll i'll do my own i guess uh, let me let me go grab some uh, ravnica boxes clifton knight uh i played a full play set of full art cultivates out of core 2021 boot collector booster box lol yeah you know i i've i've done that i think i've done that before that that cultivate that full art cultivate is so common um i i think i have like 10 of them tastefully nerd thanks for looking i opened a mana drain oh no problem i opened a mana drain from my box of iconic mere moments after watching you open yours wow how about that um kp goblin guide equals game grump good game <laughs> yeah that's true gg um Peter went. Money Ninja uses Mermaid to steal Mana Vault. Oh, interesting. I think I understand that. So there's a call a card called Oh, my... okay. Maybe I don't understand that. But thank you, KP. All praise. Tiny slip. You got to praise the tiny slip, dude. There's nothing better than the tiny slip. Um, Odd Grim. Let's be honest. We all have a tiny slip. <laughs> nice. Uh, Odd Graham, once again, who had the tiny slip in the D Club? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, it's a Billion Road reference. That's what I thought. Money Ninja. I was like, Money Ninja, right? God, Billion Road. I cannot wait till you guys see that whole series. It's ridiculous. It goes places, man. <laughs> um, show that full art guide real quick, please. I want to get forward and I appreciate it seeing properly lit. Full art guide. Oh, the Goblin Guide. Um, yeah, sure. There you go. Full art goblin guide. Foil. It's a pretty sick card, man. Mark Zug. Mark Zuggerberg. <laughs> um, all right, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I always say it, but I always mean it. Um, I really look forward to this every, every week. Um, so glad I get to share this experience with y'all. Y'all are so kind and so generous in this in this chat, and uh, I just always have fun. I always lose track of time. I always think these are just going to be like a quick hour, and then three hours later, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, I really appreciate y'all being here. You are great. We had some we had some awesome polls today. I mean, just just awesome polls. Um, be good to one another. I love y'all. Have a good one. I will be back next week. Hopefully in the new space in the office, but I'm not so sure about that. If, if, if so, I'm just using my phone from home. So have a good one. Goodbye.